love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. Let's get this stream kicked off and underway.
What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. We're back doing a Friday stream. What's going on? What on earth am I doing? <laughs> I enjoyed Friday stream last week. I was like, hey, let's do another one. Let's do it all again. And uh, I've got a lot of stuff to uh, to get on with because, man, if I not touch my fantasy team at all, it's going to be uh, <laughs> a long, probably an hour of, of me going backwards and forwards trying to design some sort of fantasy team today. We're going to be playing some Ruby 22, probably chatting about Ruby 24 because the Discord is just constantly talking about uh, Ruby 24 stuff and the fact we have no news. And uh, yeah, lots of fun stuff to get on with. Hopefully... Play some online. We, some on on we, had a we had one game last week against Michael, and it was the smoothest online experience I have ever played in Rugby 22. So hopefully something has been fixed somewhere along the way. We uh, we can do a little bit more today. We've already got some people uh, in the chat. Geraint says, hi, hi, Geraint. Are you one of those sort of Geraints that goes by Geraint, or do you go by G? I've met about three Geraints in my, in my life, and they all go by G. I think that's really cool. <laughs> what up, G? That's how that's, that's everyone I've ever had to met has had to do that. Uh, Valhalla in the uh, in the chat. You're looking forward to a 24 intro video. Two weeks away. Yep, got no footage <laughs> to make it work. Going to be a nightmare to do. I need something uh, from the guys over at Ruby 24. I had a look again today, actually. Like, I mean, this is insane, right? Let me go over to the uh, the Ruby 24 page. Look at this. They still haven't even put out the trailer. <laughs> On Rugby 24. What is... Who, who is manning this? What's going on? <laughs> Somebody needs to do a bit better. Uh, yeah, they're not doing very uh, very well. We've also got Jim in the chat. How are you doing, Jim? Jim says, I am their favourite YouTuber. That is wild. Uh, if, that, if, if that's true, that's that's amazing. Uh, to be honest, I, I'm just a guy in his spare room that talks nonsense about Rugby with a Giant Crocodile. So uh, if I'm if I'm the, the best YouTuber, maybe, that's awesome. Uh, I didn't think I would ever be that for somebody. So great. I'm glad to... I'm glad I am for someone. JW down in the chat as well. Looking forward to the stream. Awesome, JW. Uh, lots of fun stuff to, uh, to get on with today. It's a bit quiet in there. Should we check on a bit of uh, music? I kind of liked that aspect last week. I chucked on some uh, some music in the background. And uh, let me know if it's uh, a bit too loud or what have you. I just kind of like a little bit of, bit of baseline music. So we're going to go on the, uh, on the go. But YouTube just demolishes you if you try and play anything that's sort of copyrighted. So we'll go for some generic <laughs> copyright free, uh, free music. We'll play a bit of... Uh, Bit of Nefex in the background, just to, just to cut out a bit of the, the stuff again. Uh, I have also changed uh, it's a couple of things in the stream today, because uh, I was getting a bit annoyed last week, because we kept getting a few notifications throughout the stream, and they weren't popping up. So I believe I've uh, I fixed it. So I've got a couple that came in yesterday, so we can we can replay them, and it should. Yeah, there we go. Hey, we managed to fix it. So theoretically, uh, if people subscribe, donate, all that fun stuff throughout the day, hopefully they should all work and should just pop up on stream so i'm glad i managed to get that fixed before today <laughs> because I, uh, I i i don't know i don't know what i'm doing there's a lot of technical aspects in here uh bronco good afternoon mate how are you doing uh hopefully some rugby 24 news soon hopefully i mean to be fair I, as soon as they said march for the early access um i immediately said It'll be post Six Nations, right? They're not going to do anything at all to try and get involved with the, with the Six Nations. I did see somebody put in the Discord yesterday. It might have even been you, Valhalla. I can't remember who it was. Somebody put in the in the Discord that I actually fully agreed with, saying uh, about their marketing strategy. The marketing has been really poor. It's been really rubbish. But somebody said in the Discord, um, I'm really glad that they haven't promoted it very well considering all the pushback and all the delays and stuff. And it would be more annoying if they were really marketing hard and then letting people down. I actually kind of agree with that. I can't remember who, who said it. I, I, there's like 300 messages a day go on in that Discord. It goes on uh, constantly. Uh, I haven't actually checked Steam today. Should we have a look at, uh, at Steam and see if anything's on there? I, I'm very doubtful. <laughs> Rugby 24. Oh, and then a symbol. Rugby 24, no. <laughs> We still wait. We still wait for anything to to come out from there. Man, how long are we going to be waiting for Ruby 24 news, guys? I have been keeping an eye on just everything, and there's just nothing to go on. Even the, um, the whatchamacallit, the Big Ant Studios one, I think is pretty... Even we've started giving up. <laughs> even we've started getting involved with it now. Um, uh... <laughs> said most messages are from me to myself. Yeah, Val, you are the most consistent conversationalist in the in that Discord out of everyone. You are in it more than anyone. I don't know how you are constantly in there. 
every day I go in that, you know, I sort of finish work, like, four o'clock, go in, it's like 300 messages from Valhalla, like, talking to everyone else. It's your full-time job, Discord man. <laughs> uh, Brogger says, low expectations, low disappointment. Yeah, hey, yeah, you know, why not? I, I, I don't don't get your hopes up too much. The trailer looked fine. The trailer looked good. The the, the graphics stuff looked good for that. Some player models look good. Some player models look a bit. Eh, I don't know. Did they really do face capture? Because it doesn't really look like them. Until we see something, there's just no point getting getting super hyped up about it. I've tried to stay away from. There has been a couple of rumors and different stuff circulating. I've tried to stay away from rumors, and I've tried to stick mainly to uh, facts, things we've got locked in place. Um, but yeah. <laughs> it's not been not been completely great. Uh, uh, yeah, Bronco asking about different Ruby kits. Yeah, I saw a couple people talking about the um, the mod. Um, there is a. Um, how am I going to get this up here? Hang on. For anyone, um, oh, actually, I can't remember if I included how to get the. Because a couple of people were asking or have asked about throughout the Mad Dragon series um, about how to get it. How am I going to find this now? mod. Let me see if I can find my own thing. Yeah, I do have up, because I know a couple of people were asking. Um, this video here. This is uh, me adding in all the World Cup kits. I can't think in that if I added in how to install the initial mod that I found through uh, Alex Gaming was the, was the original mod that I found for the kits. Uh, but that's like an updated one if anyone wants the the world cup kits are in there is a video up on the channel for uh, for people who want to use that um but yeah hopefully we can have some official kits i did see a big uh sort of uh hypothetical dilemma of people talking earlier on today about um <laughs> about official kits but it's an unofficial mod and therefore are they official kits or um or licensed unlicensed and licensed kits man it's like so not the matrix you guys are talking about <laughs> um I think uh, Ruby24 will be here in June, says Jim. Yeah, I, I, I mean, June, July, I think, for, for consoles. I mean, I would push back any expectations on that until we get the uh, the early access launched on Steam. If they delay early access till, what, April? You can push all that back by uh, by a month. But I'm, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what goes on there. Thoughts after all this, though? Good uh, from what you see in here. Bad from what we haven't. Yeah, I mean, the oh, there's Jim. Jim's popping up. See, we got our notifications working. In comes Jim. Hitting the old subscribe button. Um, thank you for the subscription, mate. Uh, yeah, the. I mean, the launch is terrible, right? I mean, it is awful. It's it's a shame that this is like an accepted thing for, for big ant games. I, I, I don't know. Cut down on budget for marketing to make your games better? Is that what they're going for? I, I, I don't know. I would like more more communication. I would have liked something to, to have engaged with and, and sort of given us a bit of a heads up about gameplay, trailers, actual dates we could expect stuff from. Um, I don't know whether they just took on too much at one time because they had like five other games at the same time and it's caused all sorts of problems. Maybe there was too much for them to do at one time. It, it's not been a good launch. We'll wait to see what comes out. I'm looking forward. I mean, like, like I did with Ruby 22, I'll probably do a massive review video for uh, for Ruby 24 <laughs> but my intro to the Ruby 22 massive review video was talking about the build up to launch there's going to be a, not a lot to talk about in the build up to Ruby 24 other than saying it's been it's been pretty terrible we're just hoping that the game at the end of it is great the only thing that will then blow my mind is if the game is great why did they not market it more <laughs> it will make my I don't know I don't know what goes on in, the, in that corporate world um if it gets delayed further, wouldn't Big Ant have to give uh, updated rosters upcoming seasons? I mean, they're not far off, right? I, I mean, my, my way around that for them was to do um, like there was. I played FIFA 23. FIFA 23? Yeah, it's now FC 24, isn't it? So the last FIFA was FIFA 23. And in FIFA 23, you could play in the World Cup with a, an international team and they would have a World Cup squad for playing in the World Cup. And then... If you're playing just like a standard international friendly match, it would be with the more modern team. And I imagine that's what they'd kind of have to do because so many people retired at the end of the World Cup that I feel like you almost want to have a World Cup team or a international 2024 team and you can chop and change who you want to play as a team to try and get around that. If you go, yeah, if you delay for another like six months or something though. <laughs> I mean, I mean, waiting for the retirement, you know, for... Legarek and uh, BLBR here will be retiring by the time the game <laughs> finally comes out. <laughs> They're 21 now, and another 13 years, you know, they've had enough. 
Uh, they updated AFL uh, with, I've got a heart. Why have I got this heart thing in my in my chat? It's very annoying. Can I get rid of that? <laughs> I can't read the last word of people's sentences. What's going on? Um, with new uh, new rookies and kitsy. Yeah, I think, they're, I think they're doing the updates. I don't think anyone's taken away from Big Ant the fact that after a game is released, they are giving after launch support quite heavily um and trying to and trying to fix things and update things i mean to be fair if anyone's anyone a big gamer uh, in the chat i i do like my games outside of the the rugby world um i've been paying a lot of attention to uh, the new star wars game uh what's it called uh what was it called the i can't think what it was actually called now the collect collective collection classic no classic collection that's what it was called um and oh boy, oh boy, is this thing crashed and burned. <laughs> so many negative feedbacks. <laughs> so at the same time, you know, it's not just rugby games that are having bad launches. A game that was finished in 2005 has even had a bad launch in 2024. So you know what? <laughs> uh, you know, it could always be worse, right? Uh... Yeah, I mean, that is that Valhalla's got it right there. You know, the communication prior is awful. And then afterwards, I mean, I was blown away by the, the methodology behind the uh, the Big Ant Studios forum page, right? I, I pushed that really heavily on the channel. I was like, oh my God, guys, they've got a forum that we can all go to and we can all express our opinions and wants for the game. And then they immediately came back and said, oh, this is this is a forum for after launch. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> Let us, we're telling you what we want in the game. Like, this is, like, just standard marketing, isn't it? Isn't this what you do when you go to, like, customer bases and you're like, we'd like some customer feedback on it? You've got customer feedback for free in your own forum. No, we don't, we don't want that. After launch is when we're going to look at that stuff. I don't know. What am I? What am I? Some sort of corporate game developer? Who knows? I don't, I've, I've got no experience with this. They obviously know what they're doing. <laughs> I, make, I make videos in my spare bedroom. You know, I don't know. <laughs> not on, uh, not on for me to uh, to jump into it. Uh, uh, you're literally trying to, uh, to tip me, but it wants to go to UK postcode on your EU account. How to fix? I have no idea, to be honest, mate. Uh, everything to do with with streaming is is just a nightmare. Um, I did try and do. Uh, someone actually let me know. One of my friends uh, jumped in the stream last week and did say that the link I have in the description. Uh, for stream elements just doesn't work <laughs> so i actually tested it myself and it doesn't and i couldn't get it to work either i have no idea um super chat is about where we are limited to on uh, on youtube donating for to be fair i think they've changed uh how stream elements works um i actually can't even find the the bit that says if i go into my tipping settings uh age Design. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted. Stay humble. Now wake up. Tip moderation. Everything is accepted. Everything is fine. Anyone from anywhere can donate. Um. I have that. I don't know. I don't know if you can uh, paste things anymore. Can you? In the uh, in the chat. That is the uh, that is the link to uh, to tip if, uh, if people want to tip. But to be honest, I don't know. I think YouTube disabled something about links working. Um, ah, stop fighting me. <laughs> ah, you think after all this time I would know what I'm doing in a stream, right? But no, I don't. I can pin that so that people can uh, can get to it. But yeah, to be honest, mate, I I don't know. I don't know enough. I don't I don't do this for the money. If I did this for for the money, I'd have quit after day two. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for wanting to, uh, to tip, mate. That's very generous of you. But uh, yeah, if you can't get it to work, no worries, mate. Because it's all it's all for fun. It's all for fun. Um, happy Red Nose Day. Is it Red Nose Day today? Is that actually a thing? I should have got... Uh, I should have got a red nose. I should have got like a rugby ball. <laughs> red Nose Day. Come relief. Is that today? Red Nose Day. 15th of March. Yes. Hey, happy Red Nose Day, everyone. Have I got anything to... I've got a red pen. I'm not going to colour my nose in. <laughs> We're not doing that. We're not going to go that far. I wonder if they do it. Do they do a rugby ball red nose? That'd be fun. Get it uh, Get it all sort of built into it. Um, right. Shall we jump in to some fantasy stuff? Because, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Is there a lot to, uh, to sort out this week? Because uh, now you guys were in the chat last week. 
<laughs> I heard people saying, what about Ben Earl? Ben Earl could be a good pick. And I said, no, 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 I, I, I know more than you. <laughs> and it went really wrong. And Kaelin Doris doing nothing for me last week. Uh, a couple of people said Brex. Didn't go for Brex. Uh, to be fair, the, the centers for me last week, I think, still did okay. Um, they did okay. I think Brex scored like 40. So uh, Brex was still still the better pick. I should have I should have really listened <laughs> to uh, to you guys there. Um, Finn Russell did okay. Damian Pinot got forty eight. I still don't quite gather the scoring system. I don't know what's good or bad in this. I mean, I can look at you know like T Bar Flamand scored six. I can say that's bad, <laughs> but then Bundyaki, who was like the second worst center in the Super Brew one scored 31, scored more than Hugh Jones. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know how it all works. Um, you're probably going to be watching these games on uh, on Sunday. So, uh, are you going to be watching what? The, um, the what is it? Like, you're going to watch Super Saturday on Sunday. Is that going to be, uh, you're going to sort of catch up to it later or the music's going to stop again. Don't do this to me. I hate that it does that. Just autoplay. Why do I have to make a manual change? Uh, right, we'll jump in. We're going to do some uh, some fantasy stuff because head in the game. Head in the game. I'm doing terribly. Um, how do I go to my league? I hate this user interface. Rankings. Me. There we are. Right. I'm currently 57th <laughs> in my own league. And uh, I'm not doing well. I need, uh, I need a big boost. Who can I even take on here? I'm on 1320. I feel like 40, uh, you know... I can maybe crack top 50. That's my aim. That's my aim this week, okay? That's what we're doing. Okay, so let's head over to the team. So, thoughts on uh, on this week, guys. What are we all thinking? Let me uh, head over to these games. Right, so, Wales, Italy. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Ireland, Scotland. I, I am leaning towards Ireland. I think Ireland would be really annoyed about last week. They're playing at home. Six Nations decide... Uh, I think huge game from Ireland. I think Ireland is, is a safer bet for me. France, England? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still leaning towards France. But I just, if England just turn up again, if they just turn up and, and blow it out the water, um, then I think that, that you know, I, I don't see that going either way. So my usual tactic is picking the winners, and I don't know this week. Um, so I don't know what you guys are thinking in terms of uh, your sort of winners and, uh, and losers. Um, so I'm going to start out. Let me start out with Scotland players going. I'm probably going to say it's going to be my safer option. Let's get rid of my Scotland players. I don't think they're going to do a lot for me. Pajarello is on the bench. Pajarello can go. Um, Antonio Flamand. Onto our course. Ah, let's just get rid of everyone. Let's get rid of everyone. <laughs> Let's get everyone and start again. Uh, Tommy Raffel scored really well last week again. I might keep Tommy Raffel. He might be the one player I keep in there. And Yaki, I can see him doing well. Let's get let's 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 get rid of everyone. Let's start from scratch. Because we're not here to uh, to mess around. Oh, Valhalla got it to uh, to work and it hasn't popped up. Look at that! All that work I did, but an hour before the stream and it hasn't popped up. I haven't actually got it in my um. I think I don't think that's that issue. I think this is a new stream elements issue. Uh. What if I press reset session? This will reset the session. All session data counters refetch and this cannot be undone. <laughs> I might be about to break something. Let's see what happens. Nope. <laughs> why does why does stream elements fight me so much? Let's be pause. Unpause. Keep alert. Can I get this to work? That's the... <laughs> I hate this thing. Why Why do things not work when they should do? I test things on like private streams and everything. They work absolutely flawlessly. Activity feed. Yes. Hang on. Let me, let me, let me fight this thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight it myself. I'm going to go one on one. Where are we? Work with me. Activity feed. That's the gym subscription. Okay, I don't know what's going on, Valhalla, but thank you for the uh, for the two pound, mate. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know what what's going on. <laughs> I, 
I ate, I ate everything. Everything to just fight me in, in streaming is, is terrible, right? Um, you just use a, a UK address. Oh, awesome. I, they just they gave in. That's, that sounds secure. Uh, buy half a coffee. Awesome. Hey, mate, I'll, I'll take it. Espresso, right? Half a coffee. <laughs> Thank you very much, Trailer, mate. That's very generous of you, mate. I never, never expect people to, uh, to tip. I'll... I gotta figure out a way to fix that. I don't know. I need to talk to people who know more about streaming than me. The, the overlay is fixed and everything. I've got the subscription. Maybe it'll pop up in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Made of doing something else. Um, Easy Ollie comes in with uh, Scotland can't hurt Ireland uh, the way England did. They're nowhere near that level. Ireland by 15. Easy Ollie's thinking an Ireland win as well. Uh, right. Well, let's jump into the team. Let's jump into the team. I'm going to change my, my concept for this one this week because... I have a I have a set methodology about how I want to work this, and it goes wrong for me every week. I'm going to start out with something wild this week. Super sub is where I am going to be starting. I know. What am I doing? Insane. And that is because I want Vincent as a super sub. Don't fight me, Italy. Vint. If I spell it correctly, Vincent. There we go. I want Vincent coming in off that bench. I am expecting that boy to cause havoc coming on from the bench against Wales. So he's going in my uh, my super sub straight away. I do believe Ireland are going to improve. I believe Ireland are going to improve from last week. So I'm also thinking Dan Sheehan in again. He dropped down in points last week, you know, in terms of the scoring and stuff as well. So he's a little bit cheaper this week, but obviously I already had him. So I haven't gained any sort of net positive or loss there. Uh, what other what areas do, does Scotland tend to struggle in? How has Scotland got on the line out recently? Easy on. Marcus Smith, the super sub. Yep, he'll come on in that last 10. He'll get that drop goal. <laughs> score those points. What did he score last week, actually? Um, no, not in the hooker position. By half. What did he score? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> he scored 11 coming on as a uh, as, as the as the bench last week. I mean, that's still pretty decent. I wish there was a proper score breakdown. Meters carried 21. Defenders beaten one. Yeah, that drop goal. I wonder if he'll come on sooner. I would like him to come on sooner. Um, Their lineup was solid. Rucks, they were bad. I'm trying to think back to the... It's something I don't really have all the different, like, stats and, uh, and and fun things of that sort of nature to see how they get on. Um, it was the... What, so what sort of carved them apart? Rex got the try from the little chip kick over the top. I, I actually still maintain going for... Um, I'm going to stick with Crowley as my 10. Because I think, I think points kicking wise, I think that's a solid move. Um, Ramos would have to go back at fullback, right? Um, because you can't move him. He's playing at 10 again. But against England, I think the thing with Italy is they were they were reluctant to, to take as many three points as they probably should have done, which is why Ramos only scored like eight from the boot against Italy. Um, but then against Wales yesterday, they did a little bit more, right? Yesterday, last week. What am I on about? What did he score overall? He scored 38 um, and I think against England, it'll be a similar story. I think they'll stick with the kicking. So let's chuck Ramos in back there. Uh, what else are we looking at here? I'm kind of tempted to load up on my Irish forwards. I know I know a lot of people are going to want to pick James Lowe. <laughs> because why wouldn't you want to pick James Lowe? Music, why have you stopped? Come back to me. There we go. Um... I feel like Irish backs could do well. I feel like the Scottish scrum is also somewhere that could be exploited. Um, what is um, Menoncello? Is Menoncello a centre or a back three in this game? Italy? No. Is he back three? Oh, man, I think Menoncello might have a really good game against Wales. But I've got to use a... I like, actually, I can't use him. My own rules, right? My own rules. They've got to be in a set position. I, I can't even pick him. That sort of ruined it for me. Um, what else are we? Uh, what else are we thinking, guys? Who else is, uh, has, has everyone else gone for? <laughs> Give me answers. Oh, that number eight shirt. That number eight shirt. Everyone's picking Ben Earl, right? Everyone's picking Ben Earl, which means I need to do something different to 
to, to, to pip everyone else. I need to do a different option that'll come back to bite other people. Seven. We're looking at Rafael. We're looking at Charles Olivon. Van der Fleer. Uh, who's seven for England? Is it Sam Underhill again? Uh, yep, yeah, it's Sam Underhill again. How did Sam Underhill get on last week? I can't imagine as well as, as Tommy Rafael, right? Where is Sam Underhill? Let's see how Sam Underhill got on, shall we? Seven? Sam Underhill got seven last week. Did he? <laughs> did he... <laughs> Stop playing? What? <laughs> How did Ben Hill score 72? And Sam Underhill scored 7. Is that right? I thought he was busy. He got a couple turnovers, didn't he? Defenders beaten 2. Oh, is this an overall look? Is this is that specifically the round or not? He scored 7 points. That's terrible. Um, Scotland backs can't defend, uh, especially Van der Merwe. It is Van der Merwe's sort of area, right? He's he's the he's the mega attacking weapon, but people do beat him in the B attack. Uh, back Aldrich to outplay Earl, uh, though I don't think he will. That could be a, that could be a big call. The only thing is if Aldrich plays the full game, they they they've sort of been. What did France go for? Have they gone for six two? I've already forgotten. I did these videos yesterday, and I've already forgotten. France, uh, did they go six two? They have gone six two. Um, so there's every chance that Aldrich might not play the full game. Francois Cross played 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 all weekend last week, which is nice. Um, we also got Italy Wales. I feel like Italy Wales might be a a big game. Uh, Captain Lewis got uh, Fischetti at prop. I you know I think a lot of people go for Fischetti at prop. Uh, and I, I, he didn't do too well last week for me in terms of uh, in terms of the fantasy was a bit of a shame. Uh, Dylan's invested heavily in uh, in Italy Wales, as in you've as in you've gone Italy or gone Wales, or you just made your whole thing Italy Wales. That could be a, an interesting move. I still think Tommy Rafael's going to play really well. I can't see them taking him off like they did last week, which was just a terrible decision. <laughs> to them both, he's just gone everyone, everyone in. I hate that it doesn't just go back to nothing. There we go. Tommy Rafael in at seven. I think seven will be good. I think Italy will want to exploit backs. I've used my 15. I don't have to worry about Lorenzo Pani. Lewis Liner? How did Liner get up? Oh, oh, but Damien Pano, man. Damien Pano versus England. He loves it, doesn't he? I think I think 14 could end up being Damien Pano. How did Yuani get on? I don't think Yuani did much last week, did he? Which means he's going to do really well this week. You are, you, you are an A. <laughs> This is one way to learn how to do your spelling switch. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Maybe not, Yuani. Uh, Rafael had a knock. That's why he took off. I, I completely missed that, to be honest, Ollie. Uh, I, I, he just went off. And I was like, this is a weird decision. I, I must have missed that happening. I also missed Capuoto breaking a finger. Since I stopped doing the review videos on the channel, <laughs> I obviously pay a lot less attention. Um... Super sub, Vincent, Proth. Uh, yeah, I've gone for Vincent as well. I think Vincent's going to be a bit of a monster to come on in that bench. It's weird doing your super sub first, but I absolutely believe that's the way to go. Back row, Aaron Wainwright. Uh, scrum half is an interesting one. Thomas Williams played well last week, but it's the best he's played, you know, entirely. I'm trying to think who else might do well this weekend. Did they stick with... Um, I think they stuck with Legarek, right? France? Legarek, yes. He did well. He did well last week. Um, I did pick him in the... Um, in the Super Brew one. Oh, France! France! <laughs> Check my spiller spelling and then and then work out which I'm wanting. What did he do last week? He scored 33. Much better than Pajarello did in this. I'm kind of tempted by Legarek again. I'm actually kind of tempted to avoid um, French forwards. Because I, f I feel like England will begin to annoy them in that forward pack. I feel like that'll be a main area to compete for. So in terms of my French players, I'm kind of tempted to go back. Again, already in, the, in this wing, I'm kind of thinking Pinot. Um Captain Lewis is gone. Varney at nine. Uh... Val Hallis says Gibson Park at uh, at nine. What did uh, what did Gibson Park get on last week? 
Uh, work with me. User interface. Be better. Be better than you are. No. Scrum half. I can't look at it. Oh, yes, I get my guy. I just quadruple click it to get it to work. He scored 19. That was pretty good. Pajrello, I think, got me 16. So he did about the same as, as Pajrello last week. Legarek is, uh, he, he sort of stood out there. I might stay with that. Pass was outrageous, but it's all wrong. Game was just on point. Yeah, that seems to be the main thing, right? He, uh, everyone was focused on that one pass. I thought his overall game was pretty good last week. Um, Valhalla says England will win this weekend. He's gone for the big calls. Going for the big calls. I think it would be a surprise to me if England won. I've got a weird confidence in this French team, but... <laughs> I, I said the same about Ireland last week. So what do I know? What do I know about rugby? Right, Ireland, Ireland forwards. Ireland forwards. Or England forwards also. Do we think Ben Earl's going to do well? How many points have I got left? I haven't even looked. 137.7. I need Italy as well because I kind of want Italy. Oh, that left wing is going to annoy me. Do we go Brex? Brex had a good game. And he's actually had a really good tournament, right? Brex has done very well. Italy. Italy. Why does this game not work out who I've typed in? 15. Oh, he's actually scored kind of low. That was his best, best round by far. Who did Wales play last week? France. And Gael Ficou was in the outside centre last week and, and got a good score against Wales. They've changed back to George North and Nick Tompkins. I'm kind of tempted by Brex. I think Brex has done very well. Sick Brex in there for now. Um... Yeah, everyone's saying Ben Earl. The thing is, though, because everyone will go Ben Earl. So I feel like to, to, to cheat the system, I need to, I need to not go Ben Earl <laughs> and then hope Ben Earl does terribly. <laughs> and then I can beat everyone in a ridiculous way. Uh, Aki, Lawrence at centres. Ooh, that could be a call. Going up against Deportaire. That could be something to look at, actually. Because Deportaire was slightly overran his lines a little bit last week and... Um, Defensively, how did Ari Lawrence get on? Scored 30. Could be something to look at. Could be something to look at. Position, centre. Let's stick him in there for now. That could be a good shout at 12. He is 12, right? Because Henry Slade's 13. Uh, yes, Henry Slade's 13. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to try and cheat my system. Um... Oh my god, there's so many messages. <laughs> I'm trying to read back the messages. France attack will cause uh, more problems for the Blitz than uh, they had. Oh man, do I think BLBRE? Do I just go all French backs and believe <laughs> the stockade of <laughs> French French backs? Is that insane? Is that a ridiculous? But then that's what I've got to do this round, right? Because I can't afford to go what I what I just think and go general because that's not worked for me this entire tournament. I need something outrageous. The full three French backs in a game they might not win. <laughs> outrageous decisions, maybe. Um, hi, Dragon. I just joined your uh, your first five players uh, are also in my team. So you're on the right track, says Streaky. Yeah, well, uh, my, my front first five players. Well, I mean... I don't know, now I'm beginning to question whether that's what I want to do, Streaky, because I'm trying to pick people that other people aren't picking. But I'm glad to see I'm on some sort of the right page. Um, Brex has never really scored high in the fantasy, so I'm not high on him. Yeah, I think he's a, he's one of those players that plays really good rugby, but doesn't score well, necessarily. Um, he will have a game where he just explodes and, and has the game like last week. I think he's just played very well throughout the, the tournament, but the it's like it's like things like, you know, defensive reading. A team can be on a great attack and Brex will shoot out of the line past four people and tackle exactly the right guy the pass is going to. Fantastic rugby gameplay, but there's no points for that. <laughs> you get one tackle stat. That's all you get for that. But like, yeah, may not score high. Maybe a bit of a risk, but we'll go with it. Um, I would have Lawrence and Brex as Valhalla. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at on here. Uh, I think Borthwick doesn't mind giving up those meters because they usually isolate them and get the ball back shortly after. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that I think the breakdown battle against France is going to be really fun to watch. Um, Ramos looked all at sea at ten channel, so England will be sending Lawrence at him. Yeah, I feel like 
I feel like the Ramos pick at fullback is purely, purely about the, the kicking points, right? That's all he offers, this French team, in that 10 shit. I wasn't Im impressed by his 10 performance at all, but he scored 38. I think that's higher than most last round, right? I mean, Damien Pinot scored 48 for me. It was better than Van der Merve. It was better than Blair Kinghorn. I don't know what James Lowe got, actually. James Lowe, to be fair, might have got more. Hang on. It'll work eventually if I just keep clicking. There we go. <laughs> James Lowe scored 29. Ramos beat James Lowe last week, and he didn't have a very good game. So I feel like against England, they'll against England they just need the win, right? So just points, 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 points. Um, Dyer is a must pick. Yeah, I see you, you're thinking a Wales win though. I feel like if Dyer, I've 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 messed up my my super brew a lot. I'm kind of leaning towards Italy to win this week. Um, but I've already started loading my Super Brew one up on Wales players. So Super Brew might be an all Wales team, and this one might be a lot of Italy team players. Um, oh, do I think maybe an Irish? I, th I need Irish, uh, Irish forwards. I think Irish forwards is, is maybe a bit of a safer move for me here. Let's stick Tyg Byrne back in. Mr. Consistent in that lock department at five. George Martin played well, to be fair, though, at five last week. Oh, I mean, you just can't go for for um, Peter Omani, right? It just, how many cards are you going to get this week? Six is a, is a real issue. <laughs> um, how was uh, Negri getting on? Scored 19 last week. Could look at maybe Negri for that. Um, even the commentators picked up on how solid he had been all tournament breaks. Yeah, I think he has been. I think he has been. There's a couple of players that do fly under the radar. He's actually been very good for a couple of years. Um, he just doesn't do the exhibitionist thing, right? It's like James Lowell scored two tries every game. So he's the best winger in the world, you know, to a lot of people. And Brex can have a solid 80 minutes, but not hit those highlight reel highs. And some people are like, hey, it's okay. He's very good. Menoncello is very good too. I would go Italian and English uh, forward personally. That is the shock you need. Uh, not many picking those. Yeah, I think I think the Wales forwards are causing issues in the fantasy world. Anyway, um, I, I backed I backed the Ireland forwards against Wales, and Wales stole lineouts and they won scrums, and it took loads of points off of Ireland. Um, I had an all I had loads of French forwards last week. Exact same thing happens. Wales seem to cause issues <laughs> in the forward pack, even though they haven't been brilliant. They seem to just do about enough to ruin it for, for things. So I'm kind of tempted to avoid Italian forwards. I kind of like some more Italian backs. But I don't trust Pani in the fullback. Ioane hasn't done much all game. It would have to be Liner. Do I think Lewis Liner is going to outperform Pano? Maybe. Rio Dyer's defense hasn't been top point so far. Stick with your gut. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Every time I stick with my gut, it's terrible. I did so many 50-50 calls last week that were terrible, and they all went wrong for me. Um, how did um, Canone get on when he came on from the bench last week? He scored 12 from the bench. So a full game by Lorenzo Canone. I do think Arthur Vincent will come on, though. What do you reckon? 60 minutes? 55 minutes? Did Italy go 6-2 or 5-3? Can't remember. They've also gone 6-2. So, I don't... I don't know if I... I don't know if I trust that Italian number 8 shirt. Ferrari played well. Ferrari. Is that not how you spell Ferrari? Is it one R then two R's? No. <laughs> how do you spell Ferrari? All right, I give up. What did I spell? Ferrari. Did I rather than Ferrari? <laughs> Someone was uh, was that was telling me. Oh, he's got seven. Seven. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, Valhalla trying to help me out. Van der Merwe is a must-needed winger. This is Captain Lewis. I, I don't, I don't know if he's going to do a lot against Ireland. I think Ireland will shut him down. 
Oh, Andy Christie come. Oh, well done, Brian coming in. Andy Christie, maybe he had a good game. What did he, what did he score last week? He must have done well. I can't spell today. At least my my job isn't spelling. <laughs> France. I've just put France. What am I doing? Scotland. Andy Christie. What did Andy Christie score? He's eight. He's a cheap option as well. Well, twenty-one. Oh, that's okay actually. In this in this one. I was a little tempted by Furbank. Oh man, Furbank could also be a good call. Because England did really use him, right? Um, in fact, am I, what's even the point in typing the name? The, 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 this user interface is so poor, it doesn't work out who you want. I might as well just do this and, and find them manually. Uh, 23, 23. That's a nice bit of consistency. So since he's come into this game, you know, no more Freddie Stewart. 23 in both games. That's that's decent. I would imagine a lot of meters made, right? He runs hard. 201. He's done 201 in two games. How much has Nash done in four games? 229. Oh, he didn't score anything. <laughs> He didn't score anything in round four. He didn't even get a point for that one tackle that knocked him out. Uh, so what have we got at the minute? I need to I need to take stock. We got four French. We're out of French. Three Irish. I got one more. I absolutely have to have another Irish player in there, right? Keenan's been a bit quiet, hasn't he, this tournament? Six, 23, eight. Yeah, Keenan's not been there, really. Um, lock. I didn't like. I didn't like my uh, my double Irish lock idea that I did in the Super Rule last week. I think I'll avoid that one. I don't want Pete O'Mahony. I'm gonna I'm gonna whittle out the the Irish players. So I'm not gonna go McCarthy. I'm not gonna go Pete O'Mahony, which leaves me with Andrew Porter, Tyg Furlong, or Caelan Doris. Caelan Doris against Scotland to have a better game than he has done. 27. He's he's been consistent except for round four. Round four was his was was one that he wasn't really there for. Um, a little tempted by Furbank. We went through that one. Uh, versus Scotland and Ireland, two mind. Um, and BLBRE 15 and Ramos are all weak points for him to attack too. Uh, well, Van der Merve will be going up against Damien Pinot, right? Uh, no. What? Well, Am I awake today? Uh, it's because it's because we were talking about French in the in the chat there. No, yeah, Van versus Scotland and Ireland too, and BLBRE the, fi uh, the fifteen and Ramos are all weak points for him to attack to versus Scotland. I'm trying to work out what we talk about. Oh, Furbank! Sorry, you're talking about Furbank. <laughs> yeah, that'll be useful. Um, I think BLBRE's been all right in 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 defence, isn't he? Does it say missed tackle stats? I don't know. Can I can I see missed tackles? Who are they going up against now? BLBRE is going up against Tommy Freeman's moved to the right wing, right? Tommy Freeman on the right wing, a difficult, a more difficult foot chase for him. I like the I like the the Pano against Daly angle. Van der Merwe will own low, you think? They they play what is in just overall score. I mean they'll be um, they'll be playing on opposite wings to each other, right? I think I see I see Low being able to take on Kyle Stain. Who's right wing? Nash. Oh man! Although saying that is is Nash gonna deal with Duan Van der Merwe? Actually, now that you've now now that I've thought about it, is he gonna deal with Duan Van der Merwe? At pace. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, interesting secondary thoughts now. Uh, Export says Stain isn't hectic. Yeah, uh, uh, Stain. Uh, I am surprised that there isn't another option. I might have liked to. Could Kyle Rowe can play um, a wing, right? I kind of might. I'd like to see Kyle Rowe have a, have a crack there rather than Kyle Stain. Vandermeer is big. He is big. If there's one thing you can say about Vandermeer, he is big. He is a big guy. 
Van der Merwe never turns up for the biggest games. It, it's a really interesting thing with, with Van der Merwe because he, he has so many games where he just explodes. If he plays a, a, a smaller team or a team that's underperforming, he, he just runs wild. Against some of the big teams, I feel like Scotland don't use him properly. Um, like last week, it was really weird. I made him captain, so I was keeping a very specific eye on him. And it was so weird how often they just chucked him the ball and were like, do something rather than doing the hard work and then getting it to him in a great position. They just threw it to him when you, you try and get through the, this defensive line. And I was really sort of, I think he's much better at uh, being able to, you know, when a game is open, you want, you know, open game. Don't just chuck it to him on the wing with two meters of space to work in. Um, Nash is tough uh, and fast, but Duhand is a big fella. He is a big fella. Stain uh, is very good at ball retention, so I think it would be the linchpin to Scotland's attack. It's really, and again, Scotland like to sometimes use Kyle Stain, and then other games, they just don't give him the ball. <laughs> some, some games he's on for a hat trick, and some they just, ah, you know, not involved with this one. Right. Um, oh, oh, God, it's all, it's all atrocious. Let's, uh, how's Andrew Porter getting on? There's a prop. Props have been difficult to call for me this, this tournament. Yeah, he's not done too well. Genge? What's Genge up to? Cause some upsets. 12, 7. Is there any prop that's really scored high? The props not score high in this sort of game. France. Cyril Bai. 10. Well, Cyril Bai's had some decent... Do we think the French scrum will be good against England? Do we think that'll be... I think it's more competitive this week than other weeks. I think England are up for a good scrummaging game. And also that, that French lineup's not as great as it has been. Uh, he gets dinged for penalties at scrum time. Andrew Porter is is a menace in the fantasy for penalties. <laughs> so many games. He, gives, he was actually the top um, penalty conceder of 2023 in, in the Six Nations. He, the prop, you know, a, a prop. Is the top penalty conceder. He was he was everywhere. Um, if you never played England, no one would uh, be impressed by him. Fagerson is on 24 points from last game. Really? Oh, he got a try, to be fair. Didn't he? Him and Schumann both got a try. Have a look at uh, Scotland. What's going on with Scotland? Schumann. Schumann got 19. Fagerson. 24. Good score. But against Ireland? Against Ireland? I don't know. I don't know if I see that being the way. Four. Four. What's uh, Nicolo Canone doing at the minute? Have they just not had results for round four in this game? <laughs> like, he was playing last week, right? I, like, I think that's like the fourth person we've seen who's got zero points. He absolutely was playing last week. He's just got zero. Uh, Dragon, have a look at uh, Gareth Thomas for Wales last week. Uh, and also look at the uh, sorry bench that Wales have this week. I might go for Thomas as a differential as you'll have to stay on the field. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put money on keeping him on the field. I reckon Gatland will chuck him off. 40 minutes in <laughs> and just let everyone die. Let's have a look at him. Let's see how he's getting on in the uh, in the prop. How did Gareth Thomas get on? 18. 18's good for a prop, to be fair. 12. That's what I mean, though. The, the Welsh forwards are just chipping away those penalties. What's his breakdown? Two penalties conceded. 35 tackles. A lot going on there for a prop. Welsh forwards are causing issues for the teams they play against. And, and that's why I'm, I'm hesitant to lean towards any Italy forwards this week. But I've also not got my Italian backs that I was adamant I was going to do this week. I maybe look at Stephen Varney at nine and put a French back in. Aldrit or something. Four is Thibaut Flamand. But Thibaut Flamand didn't do anything last week either. If I take out Legarek... And I went for Cyril Bai. I, I, ate, I ate it all. <laughs> if I went for Cyril... No, over there. There. <laughs> Go.
Game. Select a player. Zero bye. Thank you. Don't fight me. Um, I'm picking my team now, so this is a nice surprise to see someone live. Yeah, I, I, it's not really a thing. That's why I, I kind of thought it'd be nice to sort of do it on, on stream. Normally, I try and do the, the midweek video, but there's such a, a short turnaround time and all the other videos going on this week. I just didn't have time to, to do it all. Um, so I thought, let's, let's build it into the live stream and make it a bit fun, a bit more interactive for people to, uh, to get on with and I can hear other people's thoughts on it. I've still got to do my Superbrew one. Superbrew is this evening. I, I, I'm going to be thinking, there's, 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 there's currency, there's number of transfers, there's so much to go over in that one. Um, I'd go with Lamaro uh, if I were to pick an Italian back row. Yeah, but is he going to score better than Rafael? I, I can't. I can't imagine so. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. There we are. Uh, Italy back row. How did he get on last week? 30. Scored well. Scored well. Tommy Rafael. 31. <laughs> Just pipped him. Just pipped him there. I think I think Rafael's been consistent and also against Italy. There's a chance he, he might do something else. How's Aaron Wainwright getting on? I'm slowly backing out of my own idea where I said I'm just going to do loads of Italian players. Ugh, oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> um, I can't imagine Dylan Lewis is anything to write home about score-wise, right? Yeah, five, five, nothing crazy. Tight head props an issue. Uh, yeah, like 18 tackles last week. Uh, and like Van der Merwe, big fella, yeah. France uh, embarrassed England so badly last year. I don't see them letting that happen again. Yeah, I... I also don't think this French team is up to do that again. They were they were so in sync last year and everything just looked brutal. This year, I don't think it's going to be the, the same thing. I mean, I'd be interested to see how George North will get on at 13 last game for, for Wales. Rio Dyer instead of BLBRE. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not convinced by this. I like Pinot against, against Elliot Daly. I, I like the idea of Rio Dyer because he's so attacking, and I think that's all Wales will have, right? To not finish last in the Six Nations, Wales have to get a bonus point try and win. There's no way around it. So it has to be an attacking game. Surely it has to be an attacking game. 30, 31, 36. Consistent, that's what I like. Rio Dyer's going in. Rio Dyer's going in at 11. I'm changing my mind on the fly here. They have to play attacking. Rio Dyer must be attacking. Um, Dylan's gone both for Rafael and Wainwright. Yep, I don't think I don't think it's a terrible move. It's interesting that Wainwright is scored kind of low. I think Rafael's a, a solid pick for me there. Um, I've, I've just not got Italian players. I think I've, in my head I've gone Italy going to win, and I'm not picking Italian players. It's too many years of doing the fantasy team and not picking Italy. Ruzzo will probably cause some issues as well, but I want Ty Burns too good to not have in right. Uh, tight heads uh, are just uh, peno machines. I usually just stick to the loose heads. Yeah, I, yeah, it's my own rules. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of screwing myself with my own rules. I knew I was going to. Tight heads are my issue, so I'm not doing. Let's, let's, let's work it out. I'm not doing Dylan Lewis. Potentially Xander Fagerson. Ferrari didn't score. Brilliantly, even though I think he's better than Zalocki, which someone told me my pronunciation was was off, so it's now Zalocki. Even though I think Zalocchi sounds better. Um, Tig Furlong, ten. It's it's more, but nothing really wild. <laughs> it's not looking good here. Antonio, Antonio, five seven. Not done brilliantly. Which leaves me with Dan Cole. 6-6. Six, six. I mean... <laughs> there's just nobody. There's just nobody to go for. It, the, the best option, you know, on paper is, is Xander Fagerson. But again, penalties from Xander Fagerson I always think are a worry. I think out of most of the, the forward pack for Scotland, I think Xander Fagerson's up there most likely to get a card as well, which I, I never like. He's, he's so rough in, in the breakdown. So it has to be... And I think Wales will cause some issues. I don't trust the France-England game to call it right, so I'm going to go for Furlong and just believe that the Irish forward pack is going to cause enough problems that they'll get points overall. That's what I'm going to go for. 
Leaves us with four, guys. Leaves us with four positions. So I've got three French. I can fit another French boy in. Back row or lock. It's Thibaut Flamand. Cross. Or... <laughs> Xander is partial to a headbutt, yeah? You know. Sometimes you want to, you know, headbutt someone. Why not? <laughs> um... Easy Ollie says Martin's going to be looking at Manny Mefu and uh, and licking his lips. That's going to be a, oh man, I want to see I want to see one of them run into the other at full pace. I want a massive collision. How did Mefu get on last week? Oh, that's Tyburn. That's not what I'm after. Because he's a big unit. He did a little bit less than I was expecting him to last week. Um, Mefu, how did he get on? Eight. Yeah, nothing. Nothing wild. Um, I'm trying to also think about... Right, I, I want more Italian players because I don't have him. I've got Rio Dyer in there now. I like Pino. Ramos is just there for kicking for me. Oli Lawrence at 12, I think, is, is you know, one of those sort of danger picks. Brex versus Wales. Yep. Like, I think Negri plays hard. Does he score well? 19 and 19. So the two games he's played, it's up towards the 20 marker. How did my boys get on last week? I'm so across, not, not, not doing anything particularly brilliant last week. I'm kind of tempted to, to mix it up and go for someone like uh, an, an Italian back rower. I've also got that's three of my Italian picks. Man, I'm struggling with this. <laughs> Second row is a dodgy for me. Uh, I've got Flamont and Burn at the minute, but debating like a tackler like David Jenkins. Great call. Yep, I'm stealing your idea. <laughs> Love it. David Jenkins, another one who's played immensely hard this tournament. Absolutely having the four shirt. 34, 17, yep. David Jenkins takes four. Yep, yep, yep. That's a great call. David Jenkins, four. I think he's four. Oh, he better be four. They haven't put Adam Beard on at four, have they? Don't do this to me. Wait, hang on. I mean, nope. It's round four. Bear with me. <laughs> I'm back. Round five. David Jenkins is back at four. Okay, David Jenkins going in. David Jenkins going in at four. Tua Laggy is a super sub, said Valhalla. Not a bad shout. I, depends, it depends when they come on. It's the, it's, the, it's the thing about the super sub. I was desperately going to be picking Marine last week, and I backed out of it, you know, on the Friday. He came on in the 78th minute. He wouldn't have scored anything. So it's it's one of those ones. You've got to be that. That pick is very difficult for your super sub. You've got to be confident they are coming on. Lorenzo Canone has some high point possibilities. I've been thinking the same thing, but I've also I'm backing Arthur Vincent to come on very early, and then they're going to end up clashing because they'll one will come on for the other, right? Uh, ben Earl in the backs says uh, Rugby Island News. I know everyone's going to do it. Everyone's going to do Ben Earl, which is why I'm kind of tempted to not do it. <laughs> Got to be different. Um, this is the type of match where a Toje turns up. Yeah, again, a Toje could be a great call. A great call at four. He's been he's he's been much better this tournament than he was last year. I, I was much more impressed by it. Oh my god, we've been doing this for an hour. <laughs> I said I made a joke that this was gonna take an hour. It has taken an hour. Um if England win, um he'll have a really uh, messed around with them in the breakdown of the lineup. Yeah, in the in the in the mall is where I've been really seeing it. For some reason other teams aren't copying what Atoj does in the in the mall. Um, Itoji must be one of the best players in the world currently for sacking a mall, and nobody else does it. I don't know why they let them all have. Just sack the guy instantly. Itoji is a bit of a monster, and that that French lineout's been having issues. Um, that might not be a bad call either, going for a uh, for an Itoji there. So we've got what are we looking at here. I've got three three Italians. I can have one more Italian. I've got four Irish. Three French, two Welsh. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of going against my own view of, of how I want to want to do this one. I'm kind of tempted by... This is my current thought process. What have I got budget-wise? 
25.2. Oh, no. How much is... How much is Earl? He's in. That's what I'm thinking at the minute. This has not... Not gone the way... <laughs> my plan was to have four Italian players in my starting team and, and hope they would run rampant. And it's not what I've done. <laughs> That's a very mixed bag of, of players. Have I actually got more English than French players? Even though I think France are going to win. No. I've got three three French, two English. Uh, ben Earl on the backs. So everyone's saying Ben Earl on the backs. So I'm also... It just feels like you have to have him, right? Uh, I say uh, Rugby Geek had his polls out. Uh, this is a pretty outrageous. How many people backing Earl? Can't fault them, but feel like uh, I need to go for a super sub differential for any chance of climbing the scoreboard. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same the same world. I'm doing so badly. I need I need I need options that people aren't going to do, and then hope their options do terribly. I think that's going to be a pretty standard across the park, right? Unfortunately, you're going to have to fall into some of them. I think most people are going to pick Dan Sheehan, Tyke Furlong, Ben Earl. Uh, Tommy fell has been pretty consistent. It wouldn't surprise me if a lot of people have Pinot. I think a lot of people will pick James Lowe. I think a lot of people will pick Bundy Arkey. The problem is that nobody plays by my rules, right? I do my own rules. So all that's going to happen here is people are going to pick Ben Earl, Aldrete, and Kaelin Doris. That's what everyone else is going to pick. <laughs> but I'm not doing that. I'm making it harder on myself and then complain that I'm losing. <laughs> Most normal way of doing it. Uh, Val Hallis says, you're a true Welshman dragon. Yeah, I, I, I don't want that to be like a bias thing. I, and it's not, because I, I think Italy are going to win. But I just feel like in terms of the point scoring, Rafael and David Jenkins are just going to tackle all day. Bunch of points and play most of the game. So another bunch of points. I don't see them scoring tries. My scrum half position is looking like I've either got to go for Thomas Williams or Stephen Varney. And Stephen Varney did score a try last week against... A tired team when he came on. He doesn't make as many breaks as I would like. And Thomas Williams is just that guy. He's always got that chance to just sit on your shoulder and score a try like he did last week. So I kind of feel like out of those two options, I'm backing him. Um, England have got Mitchell, right? Is another one. Um, yeah, they've gone for Mitchell again. But did Mitchell really do a lot last week? Um, how did Mitchell get on? He scored eight. You know, yeah, all right, he'll have a game like that. But I think more consistently he's dropped down. Um, Legarek, you know, played very well last week. But it's going to be a slightly different, you know, um, team to go up against this week. With France, um, you know, playing England. Get a worldie against France. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to go for Thomas Williams. <laughs> Exports are 4D chess. I'm thinking in. I'm thinking in every dimension here to try and get around this. Itoje instead of Burn, though. Itoje is playing four. Itoje would have to replace David Jenkins for me. I've, I've got to pick a five. Got to pick a five. I don't think I'm going to do. Uh, I don't think Ireland are going to dominate. You don't think Ireland are going to dominate the Irish forwards that much? Interesting. Interesting. Thought. <laughs> one of them is meant to be Scotland. I, I'm not sure which one it is. Valhalla. Um, can't type lol. Hey, two hours, Valhalla. Have you seen me? Have you seen me try to type people's names? I can't type today. I can't type doing anything. Um, yeah. Next minute, Ireland fifty-seven. I think Ireland will do well. I think Ireland will cause an upset in that in that forward pack and sticking sticking with those boys. Unfortunately, I think Ben Hill's just the the, the, the static one. Everyone's going to pick Pano Ramos. Do we think there'll be a better fullback? Expectations on Lorenzo Pani to do something at fullback. <laughs> is he going to come out of nowhere and have the greatest game of his life now that Capuoto is out? I don't see that. I don't see that happening. I think Wales will be annoyed that Bruno's not playing. Bruno had an absolute catastrophe last year, if I remember rightly, against Wales. So uh, Pani will probably do slightly better. Uh, the Scotland team have an inferiority complex towards the Ireland team. Uh, they're getting smashed. Yeah, I, I, they just can't. It seems like Ireland and Scotland have different 
positives and negatives, but all of the Scottish positives, uh, all the Scottish negatives, sorry, seem to be the Irish positives, and therefore it just becomes a massive issue for them. The Irish liner has got a little bit worse than the past years, though, so that could be an area that they were very good at, and actually it's slipping off a little bit for them. Is there any last-minute changes I want to make? That I'm very annoyed I don't have more Italian players. That might change for the Super Brew one. I've got this weird feeling about Pano to do something. Elliot Daly, meh, you know, uh, is he gonna, really going to do a lot on that wing? Damian Pano be busy. Ramos for the kicking. Rio Dyer, pure attacking game for Wales. They're going to prove me wrong, <laughs> and therefore I'm picking him. Is that logic? I don't know. Uh, James Ryan's out and the lineouts gets worse. Yeah, uh, Ty Burns good in the lineup. J J Joe McCarthy's fallen off a little bit for me. Ian Henderson's not even in the team. Which isn't, which isn't great. That 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 lock department's, you know, really having a bit of a handover at the minute. Island ball retention, nowhere near as good. Uh, execution as a result isn't as good. And then they just give it to James Lowe and nobody's marking him. <laughs> Massive try out of nowhere. James Lowe is probably one of the most irritating fantasy players. Because I never pick James Lowe because he does a lot of hard work in terms of backfield coverage, do a lot of exit kicking. And I always feel like Across an 80-minute period, he never does a massive amount to earn fantasy points. And then in the 78th minute, <laughs> he'll score a try because nobody's marking him. And he'll run 80 meters to achieve the try. And and then he'll get man of the match. And suddenly he'll score loads of points. And people go, he is the best winger in the world. And, and everyone picks him in the fantasy. And I never pick him because I don't believe he's going to do well. <laughs> and every week he proves me wrong. Uh... James Lowe is the best winger in the world. See, says X. <laughs> X Force Rugby comes in. Exactly that that theory. He's the best winger in the world. He doesn't do anything all game and then does everything brilliantly in the last 10 minutes and he just blows everyone else out of the water. As long as there's no one marking him. That is that is probably, that should be his, his quote. James Lowe is the best winger in the world as long as there's nobody there and someone gives him the ball. I never understand why people don't mark him either. Uh, like, it was, it was against Italy. The, the game where men, men and cello would move to that wing. And I remember th in, in most games, I always think, if you were playing Ireland and you're one of the coaches, for the, like the defence coach, wouldn't you look at that Irish team and go, right, boys, the only one <laughs> who's going to make a you know a 50-metre try against us is going to be James Lowe. Calvin Nash is not doing anything on that wing, you know, unless someone's giving him the ball five metres from the try line. Calvin Nash isn't doing anything. Keenan's been quiet. Bundyaki's running hard. But not really, you know, having the impact we saw at the World Cup. James Lowe is the main guy. <laughs> Mark him. Put two men on him. Don't let him do anything. <laughs> and just do that all game. And he would, he would really damage the Irish attack. And for some reason, every game, there is just a five-minute period where James Lowe is unmarked. And he has a field day. Um, and he's also a really busy worker, right? Because he doesn't just sit on his wing. He moves around the field. And then he becomes the the set play inside pass, and he hit them, and nobody's marking him, <laughs> and it's so annoying because he's a, he's a, he's one of those players who's very talented and can find where the room is, and it's so annoying that nobody on the opposite side says I'm going to have him all game, all game. He's mine. I don't care about anyone else. I'm not going to tackle anyone in the game, bar James Lowe. And then they just and then he scores a bunch of points. <sighs> Um, Ireland's ball retention uh, is only worse because of the blitz defence. Yeah, I think that, that English blitz defence definitely caught them out. Both, uh, best wingers in the world are Pinot and Will Jordan, I'd say, says Dylan. I think Will Jordan's absolutely up there. Um, I think Jor uh, Will Jordan's an absolute monster. He does graft, to be honest. Uh, I think people think he's slow. Uh, but, like, he will score if he's left alone. I mean, he'll score all the time. I mean, what's the reason you pick a winger, right? The, the completion percentage of... Number of carries to try scored. And James Lowe's got to be up there for one of the closest for <laughs> every carry equals a try. It just seems it just seems to get there. He has a great, great ratio. So why wouldn't you have him? He's absolutely the, the guy down on that wing. Are you, you know, compared to someone like Calvin Nash on the other wing who's not been really there. Or, uh, you know, Jordan Lam has not even got a look in, right? So, you know, absolutely. You've got to have James Lowe there. Uh, Bundy being uh, unbelievable this Six Nations, uh, even great against England. I, I, I think he's been good. I know he's, he's carrying hard. He's another one that people seem to uh, seem to fear the tackle. They don't seem to engage with him early on, which makes him gain so many more carry meters. I think he had a very good World Cup, though. The World Cup blew me away. It's the best I've ever seen Bundy Aki play. Um, ben Earl as captain. Oh, my God, captains! I didn't even think about captains. 
What do we think, captains? I need an outsider, though, right? Everyone's picking Ben Earl as captain. <laughs> so I've got to not pick Ben Earl as captain. Who's the captain? Can you make your super sub captain? Or not? Is that a thing? No. I didn't know. I didn't know that. <laughs> You're really confident that your super sub will come on and make a, make an absolute explosion onto the scene. Um, right. I've got to avoid my forwards. Dan Sheehan, actually, against a, a Scotland a Scotland Mall, might score a couple tries and could actually be a, a, like a safer captain pick to, to sort of score consistently well. Um, Easy Ollie says Ramos, captain. Val Halise and Lawrence... You've got Menoncello as captain, which could go very wrong. I don't think it'll go very wrong. I think Menoncello will, will score well. It's annoying that Menoncello's a, a back three. If Menoncello was available to play as a centre for me, I, I might have uh, picked him there. I've got to hope that uh, the Lawrence does the busy work. Oli Lawrence will either have a really good game or just do nothing. <laughs> Brex will be... Brex is a little bit inconsistent. I've got to look at these back three. I've got to look at these back three and say, where am I going? I got in my Ramos for the kicking. Pano for the, the, the attack side or Rio Dyer for the potential try scoring. What do we think? It's one of those three. One of those three has to be my captain. It needs to be the outside call. <laughs> Pano last week, 38. Rio Dyer, 30. Better, better chance of consistency with Ramos, right? Pano got 48. <laughs> <laughs> Does Pano have another blinder? Do we make him captain? Do we go Ramos for consistency, but arguably going to be probably be slightly lower, higher ceiling than the other teams? Or Rio Dyer and believe I know nothing about rugby <laughs> and Rio Dyer is going to have the game of his life. Wales are going to dominate 60 nil versus Italy and I'm wrong and I'll be rewarded <laughs> through that. Oh, man. Uh, Pano for risk reward, says Valhalla. Ramos, good choice, says Liam. Ramos for safety. Pano, 48, with no tries or man of the match. is very impressive. It was really impressive. I would not going to lie, I was genuinely impressed um, with how much he did. Because I was keeping an eye on him. I had him in my Super Brew. Um, and I didn't, I didn't feel like he did um, a great deal. I'm actually wondering if I can get the... Um, can I get my fantasy up from last week? How do I? Oh, let's use it again. I use I use the the phone for doing this so often. I know he scored twenty five in that one. Can I see his breakdown anywhere? Uh, I'll zoom in for you guys. That's probably really hard to see for you. Uh, results. I can hear. I can hear an alarm going off. I hope that's the music and not my fire alarm. I did do a live stream once when my fire alarm went off. That was fun. Uh, results. Yeah? Where's, like, my team? Performance points. Starting 15. It's round four again. I want... Oh, this is the... Hey, I'm winning the uh, the 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 league that Subaru just puts you into. <laughs> right, next video, Monday's video. I'm gonna pretend <laughs> this is my league, and I'm winning. I'm winning this one. <laughs> um, how do I how do I see like round four fantasy fantasy round four? How do I just go back around? Where where is this? Uh. Valhalla says that uh, die is the dark horse. Uh, he had a lot of breaks by the end of the game. Stepping uh, players along with two assists. Also, we're back talking about uh, Pano. Yeah, Pano was, Pano was busy. I wanted to see his actual breakdown. Invite players, leaderboard, results. Is there not a, not a way to do that? Hang on. The actual phone app has been really good for being able to see stuff. I don't know why it's not the same for the, for the PC version. Oh, what can we buy on the side here? What have we got here? <laughs> what a, what is what is this website believe what does Timu believe I want to buy? Chaos Coordinator. That sounds like about right. That sounds about me. Um View your points. Here we go. How did he get on? Damien Pinot. 
So, two try assists. Uh, five tackles made. Uh, 100... Is that 100 metres made? 100 metres made or 95 metres made. Three clean breaks and... Eight defenders. Eight defenders beaten. My God, he was busy. He was busy last week. Um... <laughs> Potato peeler for 11 quid says, well, absolutely. Who wouldn't want that? Sounds like a great deal. A potato, 11 quid for a potato peeler. 11 quid, really? Why? <laughs> Isn't a potato peeler like a pound? You'd have to, I'd want to just, I want it to be automatic. I'd want to put my potato on the side and it just peel for me at that point. All right, let's go. Look fancy to me. <laughs> How do you know these streams are devolving? Well, we're going to look at, you know, what Wish has to offer. Do I believe in Pano? Do I believe in Pano that much versus... I'm going to go Pano. Huge risk. Huge risk, Pano. Ramos is my safety. Rio Dyer has a good chance of being attacking. Ram uh, Pano, who knows? Pano. Do it again. Do it again, Pano. <laughs> I need the biggest game of your life and uh, and score me some big points. That's what we're going to go for. Are we happy with the team? Are we happy with the team as it stands? Let's uh, have a little bit of a look at it. So, Pano as captain, Ramos, Dyer. I'm I'm happy with that back row. I think that, that gives consistent points and should hopefully do well. Centre partnership, Brex. To have another good game at 13. Maybe get another try. Ollie Lawrence to just carry hard for, for England. Jack Crowley, Irish 10. I think Ireland are going to score well. I think they'll take lots of threes in that first half. I think that's good. Tries, if they come, they don't need the tries, which is why, again, I think penalty count for Crowley might be good. Thomas Williams needs to have another good game for me. Scrum half. Ben Earl, because everyone's picking him. <laughs> Tommy Raphael, again, Mr. Consistent for me. Negri might be my outside call there, but I just don't have another six that I think is going to land that for me. I'm happy with that. Tyburn at five. Again, consistent Irish forwards, and I don't want Peter O'Mahony at six. David Jenkins to hopefully be a, be a big move for me this week. Tyg Furlong, Dan Sheehan, Cyril Byers, my front row. Props are just out the window. Who even knows anymore? <laughs> and we're just going to hope it works out. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's uh, let's go with that. That'll be my team. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys don't do as well as me. <laughs> Very sporting, Mad Dragon. Can't say that. Can't say that in a uh, <laughs> in a live stream. I've done really badly at this uh, the Six Nations one though. It's so weird how difficult it is to do this one compared to the uh, to the other one. Right. Let's uh, let's switch over, and uh, we'll get some uh, rugby twenty two on the go. We'll uh, play some games and uh, talk a little bit about uh, this weekend, shall we? Uh. I think I just threw a load of water all over my uh, all over my chair. Good move, smooth. What's up? Right. Can I put my foot in a bunch of wet carpet later on? It's gonna annoy me. Um, I remember Don Bant uh, stranded out on the wing and Pano were waltzing around him. Yeah, I remember that one. Just not gonna. I mean, imagine imagine that foot race, right? Imagine you're out on the wing. You can see the crossfield kick incoming. <laughs> And you see Pinot in front of you and you think, oh man, I'm not going to be able to stop him from there. Uh, right, I need to... Uh, we need to turn off the the music because uh, it'll crash a little bit with the thing. Oh, I've got all my team sheets open as well. Close all then down. So many team sheets. Oh my God. How many? <laughs> I open like the same team sheet like six times. Uh, we'll boot up uh, Ruby 22 in the background. Uh, any news about Ruby 24? Will we... No, will we... Will we be notified the day before? I don't know, to be honest, Mark. Um, I, uh, it's... Oh, what's this doing? Grab your controller. Grabbed. Now what? <laughs> oh, go away. Stupid thing. Being ridiculous. Um... What were we saying then? I, was, I lost track of thought. Uh, yeah, any of our routine thought, we're all weighing. I, I've said a couple of times, I really think um, we won't hear anything about Rugby 24 until the Six Nations is done. So we've got Super Saturday going on. Doubtful anything will come out on Sunday. Um, so it may be the case that we get to hear something. They like to do midweek stuff, right, Nakon? I don't know what that's about. I don't know why they love doing midweek stuff so much. Um, but I imagine, um, you're like, 
Tuesday or Wednesday next week, or maybe the week after will probably be when we uh, when we get to this one. This is loud as hell. <laughs> Game, work for me. No, controller. My controller's not working. That's why it was telling me to grab my controller. Work controller. What's going on? There we go. We get to some slightly quiet music on the go. Ah, it's because I've got two audio outputs on the go. That's interesting. There we go. That's a little bit quieter. I don't know, I had, I had two audio outputs for the... Oh, because it's my notifications thing. How do I get around that? How do I have... How can I have my game audio and my audio output for the, for the same thing? I'm not sure how to fix that. I need to look into that. Um, yeah, so I, I imagine maybe next week or the week after is when we actually hear something about Ruby 24, but they're going to have the early access out in March, right? That's what they said. So we really should have heard something. Um, I'm, I'm very interested about the the price. Is what It's one thing I'm going to be keeping an eye on. Like, I'm going to have no choice because got to have it for the channel. Got to have it for some uh, some content across April and stuff. So... I'm gonna have to pay whatever they're gonna whatever they're gonna charge, but uh, we were talking a little bit earlier on about um, the the Star Wars uh, classic collection that's come out. You know that was that was thirty pound on release. That has not been received well. So this game's coming out in early access. I hope they don't. I hope they don't charge a lot for for early access and end up cutting out a lot of people from wanting to to buy it. So um, we'll see how that gets on. Uh, what about, uh, and what about Louis BLBRE? Yeah, I, I almost put BLBRE in the team. He was in the team for a long time. Um, I don't think it's going to help that he's going up against uh, Tommy Freeman, who's also pacey. I think he might get shut down a little bit more this week than we got to see last week, but I think BLBRE is a monster player. I think he's doing so well for such a young age. I think he's had a, another good Six Nations. I think he's, has anyone taken that 11 shirt away from BLBRE? I, I don't think so. I think he's looked very good. Um, Valhalla, uh, you need to shoot anyway. Uh, another good stream, Mad Dragon. See you next time. No worries, Valhalla. Thank you for uh, for popping in, mate, on this lovely uh, lovely Friday afternoon stream. I'm kind of enjoying this. Uh, the reason I've been able to do this is because I haven't been working. I haven't been working on a on a Friday. I'll be back in work next Friday, which is a bit of a shame. I kind of I kind of tempted to like see if we could do a Friday stream every every week. That could be fun. But uh, obviously, we've got no Six Nations next week or anything to, to talk about, so it'd be a lot less fantasy team and stuff. Uh, but some of some of you know, tours coming around fairly soon, right? Uh, Beth Furbank uh, has a big game as well. Yep, now that I haven't got him, Ollie, that's where Furbank will play really well. <laughs> Midweek release uh, to this weekend uh, would have made sense. Yeah, I, I don't... I think they're trying to avoid these weird clashes with the, with the actual rugby, Matthew, which I don't think is a bad move. I hated the initial release date idea where they said it was going to come out just before the World Cup, like it was going to come out on like the day of the first game of the, of the World Cup. Like that's the, that's a terrible, terrible release date because nobody's going to play it. Everyone's going to be watching the actual rugby. So I don't think it's a bad move to avoid the clash with the Six Nations. I think a better window would have been to have had the early access done pre-Six Nations and wrapped the game up into it a little bit. Uh, but now that it's it, they said it was coming out in March, it was absolutely going to be post-Six Nations when they were going to start... Um, put in some uh, some actual stuff out for it. I am a bit worried that we have still actually not had anything from it because yet again, right, we saw it in the forum and on the um, on the actual like pages and stuff, we got told more news coming in the coming weeks. And it's like, uh, there's no news in the coming weeks. Bit worrying, bit worrying. Right, we're, uh, we're going to jump in uh, with, we'll start out with the, uh, the first game of the weekend, Wales versus Italy. Uh, let me uh, switch over. Uh, Dylan's in the chat. How are you doing, Dylan? How are you doing this lovely uh, Friday afternoon? Let's uh, do that. Oh, I also need to move. Yep, not that one. I need to move me, right? Because I'm in the way. Do 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 do. Look at me. Shift me over here. We don't want to get rid of the uh, get rid of the scoreboard and what have you. Um, some flickering going on in the background there. And we can uh, we can jump into some uh, some games and talk about some of the rugby going on uh, this weekend. We've sorted out our fantasy team. I'm feeling semi-confident. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be... Uh, we're hoping for this one. We'll play some games. We'll talk about the uh, the matchups going on. And uh, we'll see if anyone wants to play any online later on. I don't know who's who's around or who has this game on uh, on PC. But it'll be fun to go into. Um, we are uh, playing on Pro, for anyone who noticed that very quickly, as opposed to Legend, because I'm still in the background of, uh, of today. I'm still trying to sort out my next video series of... of um, doing the Six Nations 
with Italy again for the 2024 season. I'm trying to build up all the cards to make the actual uh, Italy team, which requires spending points. And if you play this game on the hardest difficulty, uh, you don't get any points. So I've got to drop it down one difficulty, which is a little bit annoying, but they uh, they still give me some uh, some issues now and again on pro difficulty. It's not always uh, an easy way through. Uh, Dylan's good. That's nice to hear, Dylan. Glad you're uh, enjoying it. Uh, we did have a couple of people that were joining in uh, last Friday. They were actually watching the stream in work. <laughs> um, and I, I like that. I like that they do that because I'm a, I'm a big I'm a big person for watching streams and stuff during work. I uh, you know having background music on and stuff. Oh, Thomas Williams, wrapped up by Brex. I don't want to be seeing that this weekend now that I've got both of those guys in my fantasy. So I want to see good tackles from Brex, but not on my Welsh players. That's what I'm hoping for. A little pop pass here. Oh no, back inside. Nope, not going to go anywhere there. Um, it's been a while since I played a rugby game. Is this better than Rugby 08? Um, it's uh, it's your own, you know, sort of sort of opinion on it. Um, a lot of people have a very positive view on Rugby 08, and normally, uh, I would say that's because a lot of people it that was probably the last rugby game they played, or you know, thoroughly enjoyed. A lot of people were a lot younger. I do think there's um, a little bit of uh, a bias when it comes to like when people talk about Rugby 08 because. I've seen gameplay from Rugby 08, and it looks perfectly fine. I never actually played Rugby 08. Um, is it overall probably as, as good as this game? I don't... It, you know, mechanically, probably not. I thoroughly enjoyed Rugby 2011. Why did Brex throw in that line out? Hold up. What just happened? <laughs> Hang on. I want I want to look at this. Hold on, hold on a second. What what what? <laughs> what what's going on here? Was it not? Hang on. Was it not my penalty? And then I kicked Did I kick to touch? What happened? I've I'm I've lost my my mind. Hang on a second. None of the above. I want to I want to double check my own gameplay here. Hang on. We're going to do a bit of a uh, bit of inception. Hang on. Right. This is what happened. I came out here. Oh, I got pushed into touch, but there was a I got pushed into right. So yes. Right. That's fine. They got a yellow card and I got pushed into touch, but we they we didn't get the advantage. I was I was talking and lost track of what I was doing. And then you've got Brex throwing in. So I assume their hooker was the guy who got the yellow card. Am I right in saying that? <laughs> well, this game is breaking. That looks like a big hit. I think that is the number two. I think what happened there... Ah, Dylan's got it. Dylan's got it in one. Hooker got the yellow card. Right. I thought this game had just had a meltdown. <laughs> I, was, I didn't know what had gone on. Hang on, let's... Uh, let's uh, try and fix this now. As I don't want to have... I don't want to have my... Sh ah! There's my mouse. I don't want to have my stream on in the background while I'm streaming. Ah! What's happened? Work with me. What is this thing doing? Oh no. Why, why did I do this, guys? Why did, I <laughs> why did I pretend I knew what I was doing at streaming? There we go. There we go. Right, and then... Close it down. Minimize. Back to the game. <laughs> I mean, that just really threw me. I was like, how on earth is Brex throwing that? I was like, well, I've never seen that before. If that was a, an actual glitch that has gone on there. Uh, what were we talking about? Anyway, uh, Rugby, yeah. You think the uh, the nostalgia adds a bit? It absolutely does. Rugby 2011 is, is for me, the most enjoyable rugby game to play. Um, because the, the AI was so aggressive on the hard difficulty. You had to be genuinely good at that game um, to win. Uh, so for me, Rugby 2011 is the most fun game. Is it actually like better than Rugby 22 is, is, is a really hard thing to sort of clarify because Rugby 2011 has massive flaws. You can do certain set plays that the AI just, just can't compete at. Um, it, it's, it's very easy to sort of try and work out to get around the, the AI. You can, um, you know, if you have a, a player, you know, make a breakaway, Every player on the field chases them down in like, you know, like 
like geese flying in the sky in like a v-shape like no one like holds their line and stays on the field there's a there's a lot of like things that are actually like like kind of technically wrong with it and probably make it not a very good game but in terms of just sheer enjoyability and something i enjoyed playing um rugby 2011 is probably still there for me um again i would like to see this game have again a slightly more sophisticated ai that that challenge you a bit more and and work out what you're trying to do and because Sometimes this game can feel a little bit like it's just worth going from one side of the field to the other and eventually you uh, you will break through. Oh, damn bigger. Taking a bit of a loose tackle. Like, like, again, they've just shortened up on this wing. Pass it out right. Nobody's there. Kick over the top. Like, you know, it, it, become, it can become a little bit sort of... Uh, that was a forward pass. Surely. Interception. Nope. Uh, oh, Brex. That's what we want to see on the weekend, Brex. We want to see you get all those meters made for me so you can do better for my, uh, for my fantasy. Um... I think Ruby game mechanics uh, haven't been cracked yet, but hopefully, uh, as the gameplay as the game grows, uh, so to the gameplay. Yeah, I mean they've they've announced that um, the new Netflix series. They've got another season of um, the the Netflix rugby thing, and I think stuff like that's really good for getting other people interested in rugby. I do look at my own analytics on the channel, and even as someone who has a heavy hand in um, rugby gaming content. Um, because of covering, you know, a lot of the actual, like, rugby stuff and going over the team previews and stuff, looking at the analytics, my, like, average demographic um, for for people watching my channel is is people in their, like, 30s to 50s, which is typically not the range of people playing video games, right? So there's not a great demographic to be able to hit there. So ga things like the, the Netflix series coming out is a really great way of getting new people into the sport. And as soon as new people start getting into the sport, they then might start watching the sport a bit more. Then their kids are like, oh, man, I want to play a video game, which means developers go, there's a bigger audience here for rugby, and maybe more money starts getting put into uh, into rugby games. I also believe coding for rugby games is really difficult. I've got a couple of friends um, who do, like, software development, and they've all said to me, um, rugby games are really hard to work out just because... There's a lot of laws, the way the gameplay has to work. It's not like football where all the players are doing independent things. You've got all these offside lines. You've got to try and have, you know, 30 players on a field doing stuff independently. They have to rotate positions as opposed to like in football where people just sit in defense and, and, and stay there. You need your team to reorganize. There's a lot of stuff that goes into a rugby game that makes it very complicated. So landing all the game mechanics is, is probably going to be really tricky, but hopefully they, they will eventually be able to, uh, to crack it. Uh, Mark and Matthew asking for if is that not a red card? It should have been a red card, but uh, the, unfortunately, <laughs> they forgot red cards exist in Rugby 22. I am still yet to see a red card. I've seen people claim. I've seen people claim that they've had a red card. I've still never seen one. Um, I've even tried to get a yellow carded player another yellow card, and I've never achieved it. So, you know, it's always tricky to be able to do. Oh, Alan Jones running down the line there. Oh, clattered, clattered in the uh, in the tackle there by the uh, by the winger. Um, I wish I could get Rugby World Cup 2011. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, they never they never sort of, like, ported it onto anything. Um, I, I was sort of checking to see if they've ever put it on, because I know, like, Bears Gamer does, like, a lot of, like, Rugby 08 stuff on, um, on the PC. Um, I did have a bit of a chat with him about if he, if he knew of, of anyone that had ever done Rugby 2011, because I kind of wanted to play Rugby 2011, um, during the World Cup and, and sort of add that in. Uh, he wasn't aware of anyone that's ever done it. It's not on Steam and I'm not aware of there being like an existing port to be able to play it. I still have my 360 in, in my actual bedroom. <laughs> not the spare room that I'm in now, but I actually have, I have the 360. It's still hooked up and uh, I have certainly on occasion sat down and played, uh, played a really fun World Cup with I have to play as a bit of a lower t team, though, because it's a little bit too easy for me. So I play as, like, Fiji or Japan and have, uh, have a really good game on Rugby 2011. I thoroughly enjoy it. Oh, Valet out. Hot pass. Oh, there we go. There's the breakaway I've been waiting for all game. Right, George North. How have they got five players over here? What are my guys doing? Look at them stood in a ball. Got to do stuff a little bit better. Uh, how come Rugby 22 didn't have the Premiership license, but they can use uh, the pitch markings? Uh, I have no idea. Well, they, they lost the license very close to release. Um, because, oh, let's see if we can get that out wide to Zamit. Oh, a little bit of a stop start. No. Um, because the the advertising they did for Rugby 22, I, I've, I've still got the box art upstairs. Um, and the box art had... Um, the, in, in all the release videos and stuff said there were going to be 60 licensed teams 
And then when the game came out, they changed all the marketing to say 50. So I'm guessing the Premiership was one of the last things that got changed in that game to actually not being in. Um, and I guess a couple of other things were allowed to remain in. They just had to remove the, the teams and what have you. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know what's going on there. But it looks like we've got it for Rugby 24. So uh, that should make a lot of... Uh, of newcomers to the rugby gaming genre a little bit happy because I saw so many people that were England supporters were really annoyed about that launch of Rugby 22. So uh, hopefully there'll be a few uh, few happier people out there when Rugby 24 does come out. Um, Kian, Kian coming in. How are you doing, buddy? I've uh, been enjoying our little chats in the uh, in the YouTube comments going over the uh, the fantasy results and stuff. Uh, are you the biggest donator? Uh, I would imagine so. I've got to, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, the, do the, the streams don't typically get uh, massive donations, uh, which is fine. That's not uh, not something I've ever pushed for. I never beg people to do uh, do donations. Don't people want to? I would imagine so, Kian, especially uh, if you total up the number of donations. I absolutely think you you probably are. I actually don't know if I have a um, have a thing to be able to see that. That would be kind of nice to be able to see, actually. Um, uh, sh stream elements just sucks. <laughs> I just yeah, I have a look. My, uh, if I go on like all my biggest tippers and stuff, it just has nothing. It just has no information. We were having some issues earlier on, Kian, um, that I, I, pe people, um, Valhalla donated and it just didn't pop up on stream. It's still, as of yet, it's still not on my, uh, on my, um, alerts sort of list either. I, I don't know what's going on with the donations to be fair. So unfortunately I can't 100% confirm, but I believe you are, Kian. Uh, and thank you for the, uh, for the support as always, Kian. Um... The oldest console I have is the Wii. I also have a Nintendo Wii. I've got a Wii in the lounge, uh, which I, uh, again, another great console that I enjoy doing. I've got, I am a, I am a gamer at heart. That was what this channel was originally set up to be, was just playing games. It had nothing to do with rugby. Oh, the wind. Um, so uh, I have a lot of different uh, gaming consoles. I've got my Nintendo DS in the cupboard somewhere. Um, and I, uh, the last time I went back to see, uh, see my parents, I actually found all my old games in my Nintendo, uh, my DS. And uh, yeah. I found Pokemon Pearl with my 350 hour playtime save file in that from back in the day. Enjoyed a bit of Pokemon back in the day. So we can get a, a little bit of a foot race here. Zamit to chase this one down. Oh, George North's going to be better on for this. Nope, Zamit. Oh, they're playing loose. Playing wild Italy. That's what we like to see. A bit more dangerous, right? Let's try and do something different here. Thomas Williams. Oh, that could have been a little bit better for me. Well taken by George North, spread out to the wing. And we'll do a little spinneroo <laughs> to score a try. Um, I think everyone has a Wii somewhere in the loft. Yeah, and they're not expensive anymore, man. I've, I've seen, I've, I, you know, they're on eBay. You can go on eBay. Probably get them refurbished, but uh, you can certainly find them for sort of 30, 40 pounds. That's still a good thing. I used to really enjoy the Wii Fit. Was uh, was one thing I had, and uh, back when I was actually fit, I'm uh, I'm no longer fit. I've grown older, I've grown a stomach, <laughs> uh, as opposed to actually having borderline abs back in the day. Uh, I used to use the Wii Fit loads. Uh, there was a, a thing on it for doing press ups. I'm quite an upper body person. I've got quite a quite a broad chest and shoulders. I was always very good at press ups, and uh, I used to do the oh Josh Adams on the break. What a run there. Turn back inside. Oh, no one with him. Straight through the line. Um, and I used to do the uh, the press-up challenge, which was to do like 100 or something press-ups or 150 press-ups like in, in one go. And I used to I used to do it and try and beat my own time. I used to be really good at it. Not anymore. <laughs> Life took over. I grew up and got a job and sit at a desk and make YouTube videos. I, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that, is, uh, that has left my system. Oh, go on. Let's have a drop goal. Let's punish. Nope, 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 and the breakaway. Well, oh, what a great kick. Who's on it? Is the bounce going to be favorable? It is. Dan Bigger needs to do something here. I've taken that over the line as well. Great clearance kick by Menoncello. <laughs> Just absolutely like Xanon or something. Uh, oh, man. Hang on, I'm trying to reach chat. I'm trying to reach chat and do stuff. Scrum is not the time to do this. Bear with me. Let me see if I can take the scrum back and then rechat. <laughs> Two things at once. How good are you at multitasking? Uh, uh, yeah, hopefully next month uh, I'll give fifty pound. Oh, Keen, you don't have to do anything that generous, mate. I mean, it's highly appreciated. But never feel like you uh, you get pressured to to, uh, to donate money or anything. Um, 
I know you've been doing well, mate. I've been, I've been uh, seeing your messages about, uh, you know, doing well in the, uh, not the gambling scene per se. Uh, my, my bets have been pretty awful for me recently. Uh, you deserve uh, uh, basically uh, only rugby YouTuber I watch uh, and only plus uh, from Wales. Uh, and that as well. Hey, all those positive reasons. Uh, the reason I said a month I'm low on money right right now. Wow, what have you been spending your money on, Keen? You've been doing really well in terms of your uh, your results for for money there, right? I've uh, my my bets got ruined again. First first week of the Six Nations, I won like forty pound. Second week of the Six Nations, I won about twenty five pound on doing bets and stuff. Round four. Lost it all. <laughs> I put loads of money, and it all involved with Ireland beating England. It all involved with Scotland beating Italy. It all got ruined, and it just... I, I, I never lose money in betting, but I never earn any money. I break even. I break even over... The, same with the World Cup. In the World Cup, I think, over the course of the World Cup, I think I earned about £60 in bets, and then I got to the final um, and saw... The odds on for New Zealand. And I thought, oh man, I'm back in New Zealand for that World Cup final. <laughs> Stuck all the money on, on New Zealand. Double your money. Nope. Red card. Sam Kane. <laughs> South Africa win. Ruined that for me. Broke even by the end of the tournament. Really annoyed. Uh, rugby 22 is very underrated, but I, I still think RC4 is the best rugby game. I always wanted to play it. I always wanted to play it. I was going to get it on stream. I was waiting for it to come down in price. And it just never did. And now you can't buy it on uh, any sort of, uh, of digital media. Um, which is uh, which is really annoying. So uh, I wanted to give it a go. I'm not... A, the only thing I've seen about Roby Challenge 4 is I'm not a fan of the, the the open game gameplay. I believe... You can correct me if I'm wrong, Dylan. Um, I believe you... Uh, you can... You can only do the behind the player camera angle, which I've never liked where the camera like, spins around. I've always been a, this side on TV camera angle. Um, and then I also didn't like that when you kick the ball, it goes into like slow motion to show you where the wind is on the ground. I don't, I don't like that. I get rid of all slow motion in, in, in a sports game for me um, to make it a little bit better. What are we on here? Can we get a bonus point try? Oh, pass back inside there. I was going to get driven out. Um, but other than that, I've seen some, some interesting gameplay. I don't really understand how the rucks work. There's just a lot of green lines is what I see. I don't, I don't quite grasp how they work by watching it, having never played it. Uh, oh, go on, have it here. Let's try and cause a bit of an upset. Oh, Brex again. If Brex has a good a game in real life, <laughs> as he has done in this game, uh, my fantasy team's going to be away. Go on, let's do this. Go on, boys. Out wide, out wide. Loop pass. No, get it out. Josh Adams, one on one. Step back inside. Step back the other way. Oh, horrendous try. Um, oh, you can do it side on. Oh, awesome. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, and I'll never get to play it because they took it off Steam. <laughs> Very irritating. It was £50 its entire lifetime, and now you can't buy it. Um, Kian said, uh, I spend it on uh, a lot of certain things. Uh, I want to get better at saving. Yeah, mate. To be honest, I suck at it. Uh, I have way too many expensive hobbies outside of, uh, of YouTube, and it does ruin any sort of savings I try and do. Uh, I'm a bit of a bit of a nerd, bit of a geek outside of, uh, outside of the YouTube space. I enjoy uh, doing doing uh, model painting. One of my friends and me recently started doing the uh, the Star Wars Legion um, to, uh, sort of like miniature game, which is uh, which is really fun. Um, I, we haven't played a game yet, but I've been doing a, a bunch of uh, models and stuff. Uh, let me get... Uh, oh, this sucks. Hang on. Um, get... Uh, Star Wars Legion. Oh, I forgot I got the, uh, the thing off. Yeah, you got uh, Star Wars Legion, which is like like Warhammer, but for Star Wars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One of my friends got said, hey, why don't we try this? And I thought, that sounds fun. I like Star Wars. I like making models and painting miniatures and stuff and playing board games. Yep, started doing that. That's taken up some money. <laughs> That's another way to do it. Uh, and I play, uh, I have a lot of like card games and stuff as well. I enjoy card games. And uh, card games are expensive. Me and my girlfriend have been playing um, a lot of different uh, TCGs and stuff. So, cost money. All cost money. Blow blow through it all like crazy. Uh, where do I uh, bet when I do the rugby? I do it through Skybet. Uh, I have heard that, um, I think Bet365 actually has some really good, like, betting things. Uh, one of my friends does a lot of football betting through um, Bet365. And you can, like, build the bets. And I like that because sometimes Skybet screw me. I'm sure they do. Um, I've seen a couple of times with, with Skybet where they say, 
you know, ooh, Wales to win by 10. And you go, that sounds about right. And you press and you put some money on it and then Wales win by nine. And that happens far too consistently for it not to be some backroom scam <laughs> just to screw me out of money. It happens all the time. I'm one point off getting it right because Skybet's like, do you want to put bet on this? So uh, yeah, I might need to find a different betting site. Um, uh... You can do side on. Oh, for the camera angle, yeah, that was for the, uh, the Rogue Challenge 4. Yep, I'll never get to play it. Uh, ruck spam A and X. I don't mind spamming for the Ruck. I enjoyed the Rugby 2011 spam, where you can spam too much and then you give away a penalty and you have to really pick it quite cautiously. Rucking in Rugby 22 isn't very fun for me. It feels like you either just win or you just lose a Ruck. And it's based on a myriad of factors and none of them are you doing anything particularly special. Um... Uh, I never always have enough time uh, for fantasy uh, anymore. The last two times I've gone, same team uh, the last week. Uh, was my best team last week with 180 plus points. Yeah, it, it's, it's hard to do it. I, I have to commit time because of having the channel um, to, to sit down and do my fantasy every week. Um, I do also put it up on the um, on the Patreon, on the channel, for the, uh, for the Super Brew. I put my Super Brew team on Patreon. You know, if people want to support the channel, it's a nice way for them to get a bit of a jump start on me. Uh, David Wakefield is a member of the uh, the Patreon over there. Got to see my team early. Don't know if that influenced his team at all, but he went on to demolish the Super Brew <laughs> last week. So, uh, you know what? Fair play to him. You're doing well. Uh, what is the second game of the round? Ireland, Scotland, right? This is the second game. Did anyone check out the... Uh... This all looks very weird, doesn't it? What have I done here? There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say that didn't that didn't look very good. Um, what was I saying then? God, my brain. I got. I got. I'm not cut for the streaming life, guys. What are they talking about? <laughs> about the fantasy oh the patreon yeah and doing doing the super Bowl team yeah he, uh, he did really well uh by by being able to see my team but i think that's a nice way to sort of give back to people i never tell people they have to go on the patreon you have to donate or anything you know that's that's a real nicety from people to you know donate or go on the patreon so i try and give people back i feel very sad uh that i don't do more on patreon for people who, who are willing to uh, you know donate and support the channel i i just it's just time just time to do stuff is is a nightmare I work a, a full nine to five. I do YouTube videos. It's probably 30 hours a week. Doing the fantasy, you know, adds that on top. Trying to do the Patreon, do that on top. Trying to meet up with friends, trying to watch the rugby. I just have no time. I have no time to try and do all these things, but I would like to do more for the Patreon to try and give back. I have been tempted. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to put this in the, in, the, in the chat. I don't know how many people we have in the chat. Um, something that, um, oh, I don't want teams. Hang on. I've done something. Mouse, where are we, mouse? <laughs> I booted up Microsoft Teams somehow by accident. Let me go over to the uh, to the chat here. I have been seeing a lot more um, um, about the the YouTube membership things. Now, I've never been that bothered about it because I never feel like you should like try and get people to like pay to like watch it. Like it's fun. It's YouTube. It's meant to be fun. Um, so do you guys? Are any of you want interested in doing like the membership thing on YouTube, just as a way of like supporting the channel? Um, I, I don't know what the, the membership thing is. I haven't really looked into it. Um, as like a, um, I don't know what it is. Is it like two pound a month or like five pound a month to do the, the membership thing? If I'm going to try and incorporate streaming more into the channel, it would be better because you can have all the different like icons next to your names. You can have different emotes in the chat. You can do loads of stuff. But until I start doing more streaming, I don't think it's sort of worth starting up. Uh, but I'm going to drop a poll uh, down, see if you guys think about it. Um, uh, would you sign up to a YouTube members for the channel? Let's do that. Uh, is that a, a real answer or a type in that? So no, it wants that or that. Um, because I, I genuinely don't know. I don't know if it's worth uh, sort of setting up and trying to come up with some cool ideas for that. Um, I'll drop a poll and we'll see what uh, what you guys come back with while we're uh, while we're playing in the side, um, because it seems like a it seems like a fun way to um, to to like you know one you know you you get to earn like a bit of money on in terms of my end I don't think you earn a lot of money I mean and I'm sure YouTube take half of it <laughs> as is the way with uh, with YouTube but um, I I never wanted to set one up because I didn't want it to feel like you're trying to pressure people. 
into like donating stuff and i and i never i never want it to be like that you know I, I, the streams for me are all about trying to do fun they're trying to do oh james low it's trying to be fun that's why i've started making the channel a bit more now about the rugby gaming stuff it's a bit more about entertainment trying to do the streams i really enjoy chatting to you guys because it's a lot of fun trying to do the fantasy it's a lot of fun and that's what i'm trying to build more into the channel rather than make it serious and rugby analytics and stuff um but i i, I want it to be a case of I, I would hate people to be like, oh, I'll do a membership thing. It's five pound a month. And then you get nothing for it. That would suck. And I would feel bad. <laughs> and it would, it would sit with me all day. I still feel bad that I don't do enough for the Patreon. Um, but obviously, YouTube memberships is built into YouTube. It's all here. So I could like put up a video and then give members early access. It's no like work for me. I can just do it. Um, in the streams, you guys get... Um, you get special icons next to your names so I can see who's a membership and the longer you're a member you can have different um, different icons next to your names that can all change and I was thinking about some ideas for that you get emotes in the chat to do it more with the channel and now that AI art is blowing up Valhalla who was in the chat earlier on is a monster at AI art I might get some tips off him to um to sort of fill me in a bit about um, about creating some like custom emotes we could do in the chat and try and build streaming more into the channel um and that way you guys have something like back and you know an early access to videos and that way it feels like you know memberships would be a little bit more worth it grant gil chris don't you dare why can no one tackle him that has been getting worse in rugby 22 no one can tackle players they just bounce off the t how many people attempted to tackle grant gil chris then i know i was talking but still solid tackle there he came in he picked up the ball that was a missed tackle 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 <laughs> why why is no one tackling in this game um but yeah you know i, I don't know if that, if that was a thing that people would be interested in you know you know one it helps support you know me it makes things a little bit better because you don't you don't earn any money on, on youtube and stuff it just makes that a little bit you know better for, for me but it'd be nice to give people something back and i would never set that up without um having something to uh, to give back to well, let me end the uh, end the poll i know you know not everyone's gonna be jumping in the in the votes and stuff but i think we've had, had a couple of uh, votes uh and paul what are we doing oh where can i see that where's that gone to oh down there uh 60 40s i mean you know i know we've only had like five people in that but that's still three people that have said yes you know that might be something worth um worth you know having a having a bit of a, a think about just to try and add in i was trying to think of some cool ideas about what we could add into the add in as like as emotes and stuff have like a have like had like a dragon but doing different things like you know like a dragon scoring a try um or a dragon doing like a handoff you score a try in the game people could drop down the emote of scoring a try you could have a fancy word for try you know i was trying to think about some cool stuff that you know, members would have a real bonus um for like signing up and stuff and try and build a bit more streaming into it because I, I find this really fun i find the interaction with people really enjoyable doing streaming compared to uh just videos where you, where you sit in a room and talk to yourself <laughs> which is it's gotta be like on the very cusp of being mad isn't it <laughs> mad dragon hey it works um he said, uh, looks fun. Uh, I play Romania versus South Africa. Uh, hardest difficulty. I want to see if you can win. Uh, play the lowest rated team. I'll give it a go. I think, is Romania the lowest rated team? I thought the USA was the uh, was the lowest rated team. I might be wrong about that. Is Romania in this game? Is Romania in this game? I'll have to have a look at that, Key, and I, I, I actually don't know if they are. I feel like that would have been a series on my channel. If Romania are in this game. If they are in this game and I've just not seen that, that's outrageous. Um, uh, what uh, what club team do I support? To be honest, uh, Dylan, um, I've got out of the club level scene a lot over the last few years. Um, I, was a, I was a really big Osprey supporter um, for, for a number of years. But uh, as soon as it went to being behind a paywall... <laughs> Um, it didn't help that at the time of it going behind the paywall, my internet speed was awful. And I mean truly awful. I was living in a flat um, and my internet speed was awful. Um, and I did sign up for the first month when it was with something, something sports. I've forgotten who, um, who had the, who had the thing when it was, when it first became like the, the Pro 14. I can't remember who had it. Um, and I tried streaming a game and it just couldn't do it. The stream was in like... 280p it was it was just 
It was just nothing. It, it was unwatchable. Um, so I so I stopped then, and then they had the they had it for like two years. So I got completely out of the loop with it. And here we are. We've now got the URC. I catch a game if it's on TV, but to be honest, I couldn't. I wouldn't class, classify myself as uh, any sort of uh, a big club level supporter at the minute, unfortunately. I might try and get back into it at some point. It'd be nice to go to more games. That was a good clearance kick right there. I nearly got a 50-22 from my own 22. That would be impressive. I'll have this, please. What are we on? 7 all. Trying to read chat and do this is, is a more difficult thing. I'm wondering if I could put chat... I think I've still got chat in here. I could put you guys on screen, but it doesn't look very readable. Yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> it's not very readable, unfortunately. Um... Uh, sounds very busy. Uh, I'll say wait for for stream more, but uh, but I would yeah I, yeah I agree with that. Karen. I think that um, I, I I wouldn't do any of those membership things because uh, you know I, I absolutely want there to be a reason for people to sign up to the membership. But the idea of, of it being built into YouTube, um, you know, feels feels really good. It might be a case that if I started the membership, I actually might get rid of the Patreon. And then transition everything over. The only thing is that I think YouTube takes a much bigger cut than Patreon does, which is a which is a shame. Uh, obviously, I mean they're, they're doing all the back end stuff, so you know you understand why they take such a big cut. But I do think they do. Um, but then you could do early access to videos. Um, different polls can be done through the memberships. You could do live streams. You can even do members only live streams, so you can just get in with with people and do stuff. Um, that could be something to, to try and look at. Um, but yeah, I, I think maybe I could I, I could look into that. But I would definitely want to uh, have a lot of other things in place before starting the membership, just to get a bit of a feel for if it would if it would interest people. I obviously don't want to do, you know, a bunch of work designing uh, designing emotes and doing all that stuff and setting it all up to do all the membership, and then just nobody joins. Like, well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I might as well have just made more videos. Um, what do you think of Men and Cello Captain? Because I'm uh, contemplating, says uh, Ginger Ninja. That's a great name. Um, uh, Men and Cello could be a great call. I think... I personally think Men and Cello would have had a better game had he been playing out on the wing. They've put him back at inside centre this week. Um, he plays well every game. Um, I've been very impressed um, by by how he has been played. A lot of people would let me know in that first week in the in the preview video, in the comment section, they were like, Mad Dragon, there's one guy to keep an eye out for this year. Men and Cello in the, in the Italy team, and and I've been absolutely bang on. He's been very impressive. Um, the only thing with him being at centre, um, while I see them maybe going for a couple of those plays like they did last week against um, Scotland with the, the little chip kick over the top, I see Brex on the outside having more capabilities of doing it. Um, George North and Nick Tompkins back in as the as the centre partnership. I think it might be a bit trickier for Men and Cello to have those clean breaks. Uh, but if he does a little bit more of that thing like we got to see against... Uh, who do they play first round? Scotland? Am I... No. That was last round. Who do they play first week? France? No. Ireland? Oh, God, I don't remember. Maybe it was France. There was one try that was basically created by Men and Cello, is what I'm trying to say. And it went it went out to the wing and he hit a really big gap. If they, do, if they play that sort of loop running play and get out to the wing... Um, if he if he goes one on one with Rio Dyer, I don't see Rio Dyer stopping him. So it might not be a bad a bad pick. I think it would be an underrated pick. So uh, if if you go for it and it works for you, I think you uh, might get some some good points that not many other people will be picking. Uh, Keen said maybe play USA. Yeah, is Romania in this game, Keen? I don't think he. I don't think they are. Um, I feel like that would have absolutely been something I'd done. What did you play Romania versus South Africa on then? Was that on Rugby Challenge Four or something? Um, I have done that game. Before on, uh, oh, I can't sneak through. On um, on rugby 2011, that's a hard game to play. <laughs> Romania do not win many rucks in rugby 2011. It is an extremely hard task. We get this out wide here, James Lowe. Big up and under. Oh, we've gone a little bit too far with the wind, but we'll steal a try anyway. Because pro difficulty doesn't do uh, doesn't do too much to me. Uh, Dylan said Romania not in the game. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, what a run, says Jim. Absolutely crushing it now. Uh, what pack is De Bruyne in South Africa? What pack is De Bruyne? Is that a... like? It's like a made-up player? Uh, I don't know what you mean there. Road Nan still. Uh, break that down for me a little bit more. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll work out what you mean. Is... 
I have lost the I lost the chat now. I'm tr also trying to kick at the same time while doing this on the other screen. Um, what pack is De Bruyne in South Africa? Is it is that like one of the unofficial players for South Africa? And you you want to know what pack to unpack him in in the game? Is that what you're going for there? Um, I would imagine just buying a South Africa pack and hoping you uh, you'd be able to get him. But I think you'd. Uh, I, I, it'll be a little bit different for me because I've got the um, all the mods and stuff on, so all the South African players have changed into real South African players here. Right, let's keep that grubber kick going. Here we go, and another one. Oh, I didn't manage to <laughs> grubber kick it all the way along. You know what? Right, let's let's try and uh, go with the blind side here. Right, here we go. Here we go, boys. Cross field kick incoming. No. Or maybe. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What happened there? Could it still work? James Lowe, crossfield kick. No. <laughs> what even happened there? He got tackled, then a ghost kicked it, and then it ricocheted off the post <laughs> and went further back than where I kicked it from. Incredible. That's a, that, is a, that is a new one. <laughs> this game has been out for two years. And I am still experiencing new glitches that I've never seen before. Oh, we didn't manage to, to make that work. What on earth happened there? Um, imagine if you get every Super Brew prediction score bang on in every week. People would think you were a magician or from the future. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I thought I was doing really well. I was doing really well up until round three and that France-Italy uh, draw came in. I can't, I don't know how well I'm doing at my prediction video for the Six Nations. Um, round four will have killed it, I assume. Um, but I had a bunch of people, like, leaving in the chat in or in the comment section on round one and round two. They were like, oh, Mad Dragon's three for three. Mad Dragon's six for six. I was like, hang on. Could this be the year I get all of them bang on correct? No. No, it's not. Go on, cross field kick. Well, not as good as the Ioani one. But better. <laughs> Dylan said, what the hell happened there? Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what that was as a, uh, as a kick. Again, if only we had instant replay. I'd love to go back and look at that one. Uh, Rugby 22, the packs you can open. How did you get uh, De Bruyne? Because I haven't packed him and I've hit it 50 times. I don't know who De Bruyne is. De Bruyne, I imagine, is one of the unofficial South Africa. What position does he play? Um... Because that'll be who it's converted into for me now, because because the mod ruins the the thing. I don't think I don't think there is I don't think there is a De Bruyne that I know of in the in the South African team officially. Um, I'll have a look at the packs at the end of this game. Lovely set play, exactly. Because just like I drew it up, the the crossfield kick with the expectation that the AI won't uh, won't catch the ball gets them every time. Right, let's see if we go. Run around here, Bundyaki gets it out to Conway. Oh, Duan van der Merwe. Like a monster. Absolutely crushing me. We haven't spoken about the Six Nations. <laughs> That's what we were meant to be doing playing these games. Uh, Scotland versus Ireland. Let's talk about Scotland versus Ireland for the uh, for the Six Nations. Oh, he picks up a nice loose ball. Get it out. Nope. Once more. There we go. That's what we wanted. Oh, the outside line. I hope Lowe doesn't do that in the actual game. Um... Yeah, Ireland versus South Africa. Uh, Ireland versus South Africa. I've just seen Kean put South Africa in the chat. Ireland versus Scotland. I absolutely see Ireland doing well in this game. I'm kind of hoping James Lowe doesn't have a game like I'm playing right now because I haven't got him in the fantasy. I can see a lot of people maybe picking him in the fantasy. Um, well, I think Ireland will do okay this week. I think they'll be able to take on Scotland. Scotland have been such a weird team, the Six Nations. I had such high hopes for this Scotland team and they just haven't performed. I was going through the, sort of the list of games in my head the other day. I'm thinking about, like, there just hasn't been a game. I think the England performance was the only one where I was like, Scotland look okay here. Yeah? They look like they've got it going. The first half against Wales, great. Uh, and then it just sort of went wrong for them in that second half. Italy looked like it was struggling that. Um, it was, yeah, I haven't been impressed by Scotland, the Six Nations, which is a, a real shame. I, I would have liked them to have done much, much better. <laughs> Dylan said, come on, Scotland. Yeah, love from an English fan. I wonder if that has anything to do with the idea that uh, England could go on to uh, to win that one. Uh, right, let me have a look for this uh, De Bruyne that uh, Ronan still is uh, talking about. I don't think it's De Bruyne for me anymore, so... I don't think there is a De Bruyne that I'm aware of, in even on like the bench or anything. Does anyone know who De Bruyne was <laughs> pre-mod? 
or what position they play. Um, unfortunately, though, some some people you can't get in the packs. Um, I tried to get Bowden Barrett endlessly um, from the New Zealand packs, and you actually just can't get him. It is it is absolutely broken. Uh, do I have enough for a uh, an Italian pack yet? How much is an Italian pack? Fifty-four thousand. Nope, still don't have enough for another Italy pack. Struggling to uh, to do it. Um, right, let's see about USA versus South Africa, um, which was actually, uh, if you check the Titans, you will have him. Uh, the tight, the hell of the tight. <laughs> uh, I've got again. I've got the Gallagher Premiership, unfortunately, mate. Um, so I don't, whoever the Titans were. It's not a not a real thing. Wait, the tight isn't that my made up team? Oh, your career team. Oh, it's on the Xbox. What what position does he play, mate? Uh, if you tell me the position he plays, I can I can work it out on the on the official. Yeah, I the 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 if you've seen a video with him in, it'll be because um it's it, I I had that team on the Xbox. This is on the PC, so I don't have the Titans on on the PC. Um, what 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 position is he in? Because I can work out the... What was that? Oh, I made them favourites. That's not what I meant to do. Um, because it, it, it will have all shifted over now because of the uh, the mods for me. So I imagine you're looking at... One of the South African players. De Bruyne. I've got a feeling like De Bruyne might have been a... Might have been the fly half, who is now Marnie Libok for me. <laughs> Could you maybe do England versus France after this? To be honest, to be honest, Dylan, the England team in this game weirdly underperforms. I can't even give you a guaranteed win <laughs> on that one. Um, yeah, I don't know who uh, who De Bruyne. If you let me know, uh, if you let me know who De Bruyne. Oh, in fact, oh, I don't know. I don't know how I how I work it out. What video would I have done that on? It would have been. The max team, right? Ugh, why does nothing work? Hang on. What if I do... Do, 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 uh, I assume I would have done it in this, right? I got 5,000 views. Oh yeah, Kian, for you asking, by the way, about USA versus South Africa, this is literally a video on my channel. And it got 16,000 views. <laughs> Play, playing this game on the hardest difficulties. You're asking me to basically recreate the uh, the video. Look at that stupid piece of hair. I hated that. I didn't know that my hair was like that till the uh, till I got around to do the editing. Hated it. Uh, that's the video. Right, let's have a look through. Who is on a vlog? Oh, De, De Bruyne is in the hooker. Um, so for me, it will now be Malcolm Marx. Uh, oh, oh if, if it's in the custom team, it must be a, a packable player. Um, I don't think I had another... Oops, it is. I don't think I had another De Bruyne, did I? Or was it De Beer in the, uh, in the winger position? Um... Yeah, De Bruyne. Uh, just as a hooker, then. I mean, you can either go for. Oh, I guess. I guess the South Africa backs. The other option is. Um, yeah, how do I get out of this now? Um, the other option that you can. Oh, I unpacked them all yesterday because I, I was thinking about it. You can also get in your boosters. Um, you occasionally get. The where are they? Be an epic. These like epic forward packs, um, but you get them for doing the the collection challenges. The challenges? What's it? What's it called? The missions. Um, and when you do them through these challenges, where's one with like a pack? Like that one there. You get packs for completing the challenge. And when you do those ones, um, the the pack that you unlock for like the superior backs and the epic backs only give you one card as opposed to like five when you buy the pack. Um, 
and and you know might be in that I got I got it in one of them. If it's just the the standard South African hooker from the team though, I would imagine it's just an unpackable player and you're just really unlucky <laughs> which sucks i hate for that to be the uh, the way to go for you um you can also do which uh won't be uh as obvious in here if you know what his score is what am i doing here where is the career um if you know what his actual score is you have um your viable uh, what, what do they call this? What's the thing called? The recruit section. You can try and boost your um, your custom team up to like the high 80s, 90s area and get your scout um, up high as well. You can actually kind of customize who's going to be able to come up in the search result. So if you know the, the figure value, like all these guys are 68 or 67, and then there's 174. That's because everything's kind of random at the minute. As soon as you get your team to like an 85 rated and then get your scouts to the highest level, you will only find 90s higher and up and you might be able to recruit them through that way as well. But uh, yeah, I would imagine you've just been really unlucky, unfortunately. Um, I can see that Kean's put in, he got De Bruyne like, like three times in less than 10 packs. <laughs> I think you might have just got really unlucky, mate. Um, all right, let's go over to uh, USA. USA versus uh, South Africa. Uh, I also want to check. I'm also going to. Oops, easy. I also want to change the uh, the score down a little bit because somehow it's like half six. I was going to stop streaming at seven, <laughs> and we've played two games. I was like, let's let's switch the time down a little bit and try and uh, and try and get it in. Um. Why they do FIFA Ultimate Team? Uh, yeah, some people have liked it, some people really haven't. I really liked the the idea of being able to build like a fantasy team, like a like an Ultimate Team. Um, the card pack system didn't work quite how they would have wanted, I don't imagine, uh, because it became a little bit too easy to just have a bunch of New Zealand players um, and just win every game. Well, I've got a yellow card already. That's a good start, isn't it? Thing, should it? Oh man, this is also the modified uh, uh, South African team with all the new players <laughs> who are all rated like 95 and stuff for uh, or upwards. They are monsters in this game now. This is like the World Cup um, South African team, which is which is really hard. To, I can't even win a ruck at the minute. Let's try and slow them up there. Now, I, I've done a tackle here for a yellow card. It was like 10 minutes ago. Do we reckon it'll count the yellow card down in the background? Or do we think I, it's going to have to wait till a stoppage in play and then I will get the yellow card? I'm actually not sure. Oh, let's see. Okay, this is slightly better defense. I've been coasting in, in pro difficulty in the last couple of streams. It's been really nice. And now I've got to go epic gamer <laughs> to try and win a ruck. It's impossible to win a ruck. Spread out, boys. Get out here. Go out to... Arensa, boom, big hit out there. Shut him down. There we go. Go for the sniping run. I can't. I actually can't win a ruck. I'm having some difficulties at the minute. Oh my god. I also don't know. I bought this new uh, this new knack on controller uh, in prep for Rugby 24 to see if it would improve my gameplay, uh, and I genuinely think it's made it worse. <laughs> I think it's actually harder to, to do stuff like win rucks now. Oh, my God. That was off the line quick. You can play. Okay, we had the knock on. What happens with this yellow card, we reckon? <laughs> Am I going to get my yellow card now? Or have I already burned off my yellow card? Nope, I get my yellow card now. Great. Um, uh, my dragon, uh, Wales, uh, as soon as they make like a few mistakes they go downhill and shambles they should have beaten scotland uh and england france and ireland game was embarrassing yeah i mean the team's just not there the bench isn't there for wales unfortunately mate it's it's it is still the achilles heel i think it'll be the same this week i actually think wales might be in the lead at half time maybe even going towards 60 minutes and if they don't put the score ahead of italy enough um i just see italy coming back and being i'd say i just don't think the wales bench is uh, is particularly strong at being able to, to cope with these sort of big fixtures Let's see if we can get away here. I've forgotten that guy's name now. Is it Maggie or Maggie? 
I remember saying it wrong in the USA series, and then I actually had to go and like look it up and uh, found out I was saying it wrong the whole time. Oh, Carty. Nice little bit of play here. Out. Come on, boys. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. I've got like four players in that ruck <laughs> and can't win it. Take him back in. Decent. Decent. We'll take it. Uh, ledger difficulty. Yeah, yeah, hey, we're doing it on ledger difficulty gear. I'm, uh, I'm testing it out. I'm, uh, it's much harder doing this now when we're, when I'm reading the chat. Uh, Maggie. Yes, it was. Thank you, Dylan. You've, uh, you've informed me there. Uh, Jaggles Wolf, how are you doing, buddy? How are you, uh, jumping in on this fine Friday? I'll say afternoon. Sort of moving on towards evening now. Hang on, let me just, uh, settle the ship down a little bit. Right, we got rid of our yellow card. What are we looking here? Hang on, let me set my attack a little bit wider. We're at half time. I haven't conceded anything. Kind of happy about that so far. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Four men overlap and he drops the ball. Advantage is over. Advantage is over. We survived the yellow card for the second inning. I'm going to hold out down this wing. Yeah, I can see that going all day long through Etzebeth. Where are we going to go here? I'm trying to read the chat. I don't want to concede ground here. Just want to turn this over and kick this one off the park. Oh, Esther Hazen looking for something sneaky in there. Why? Yeah, I, I actually think it is this controller. I think the controller is slower at responding, which is mad. I'm doing the uh, the left analog stick thing, and it is it is just not really coping with it. Well, we'll put him in touch. Zero zero half time. Kind of happy about that one. Um, you uh, big ring who was after uh, Dupont? Uh, yeah, Dupont was. Um, I think in this. I think I had a stack of Duponts in this game. Bone and Barrett was my. What's the term? I was going to say white horse. That's not a... <laughs> that's not a term, is it? White rhino? Is that the term? What is what is the term for, for like, a rare thing? <laughs> My unicorn. Let's call it a unicorn. Unicorns are rare. Uh, do we have any news about Ruby 24? Uh, sadly not. We've got a, a lot of expectations about what we uh, what we can expect and people giving uh, rumours and stuff. Oh my god, what a ridiculous kickoff. Um, I think it'll be next week, mate. I think next week will be when we, get to, we actually get to see something about Rugby 24. They'll wait for the Six Nations to be over now, and then we'll actually get to hear something. Oh, get in. No, boys. Oh, God. Oh, God. Take him down. What do you reckon? Drop goal coming in here. Oh, no. I, I was absolutely backing a drop goal. That is one thing. The Look at the, the ability to do them all. The knack on controller is very good for spamming. Look at that. I haven't even got everyone in that mall, and I've held that one down. Shut him down, boys. Turnover. Good job. Ooh. If Rugby 24 has a spamming mechanic... What is that? <laughs> if uh, if Rugby 24 has a, a spamming mechanic for malls, um, I'm going to feel really confident about it. Because this is wild. The spammability of this controller is so much better than every other controller I've ever had. Oh, take him down. We've got very few numbers out here. Got to make that tackle. Got to make the tackle. We're holding on. Right, two men out here to take down our end set. That's good. Stop missing the tackles, boys. I might be, I might be trying to cling on here for a, for a nil-nil draw. Again, like, they just ran away from him. They just ran away from him. I'm trying to make him run at the player, and they ran away from him. <laughs> Why do you suck, game? I literally... I was this guy... I was, I was, I was number 14... Down on this wing, wasn't I? And I could not get him to run towards the man. Just turning around. What are you doing? Turn around. Uh, Sam in the chat. How are you doing, Sam? I haven't uh, feeling like I've spoken to you for a little while. Uh, how do you feel about the whale's wooden spoon? Uh, inevitable. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Italy came to play this year. And it, uh, I mean, it's not 100% going to be a wooden spoon. Um... But it is, it is certainly looking likely. Uh, Wales would have to put in a hell of a performance uh, to not get the wooden spoon. But, you know, it's probably about right for where, for where the teams are at right now. I've been, I've been very impressed by how Italy have come. I mean, where should Italy really be, right? Because they, they, they drew against France. Which, you know, should they have won that because of, you know, having the having the ball reset after it fell off the tee? I, I think that, I think they should have won that game. So you could have given them, 
you know, four points there instead of two. They beat Scotland. I think they'll beat Wales. You know, there's 12. And then if you have, you know, a losing bonus point here, you know, they could have been on 13, 14 points this tournament. You know, that would have been massive for them. That would have been such a good Six Nations. Oh, my God. I can't win a ruck. I mean, this game, this game is uh, unfortunately being a bit of an issue because winning a ruck, even when I've got 17 people in there, is just impossible. I'm in, I'm in focus mode here. Oh, I can't do anything, no. And that'll be a turnover. I can't, can't do anything. I've, uh, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to lose this game through a... Yeah, you're just going to kick that out. I've lost that game because of my players not running to the man to make a tackle and the fact I couldn't get a turnover for basically the entire game. Sucks. And then you get zero bonus points for, for doing that game because it was uh, ridiculous. Uh, does anyone want to try online? I'm going to throw it out there because uh, we've probably got enough time to maybe fit two games in before uh, I'm going to finish off the stream for this evening. Um, but uh, if anyone does have this game on PC and they find themselves free and they think, hey, I'd up for a fancy a game against this YouTuber who claims he's good at games. We can absolutely give it a go. Um, oh, in fact, I wanted to have a look. I wanted to talk about that... Uh, Oh, Dylan! Dylan's up for it! Dylan, crack on, buddy. Let me know uh, when you want to get on. Is, there, is it going to take you as much time for me to play another game before you're ready, or can you jump on pretty pretty quick? Let me know. We did have a, a very enjoyable multiplayer game last week, um, which I uh, I really enjoyed against uh, Michael. And I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and it worked well. We, I, was, uh, I was chatting to Bears afterwards about it. Um, okay, Dylan's jumping on now. I was chatting to Bears about it, and he was so annoyed. Because <laughs> when me and Bears played, uh, it was just a massive, you know, as, like, scoreline when we played. Because the game was just horrendous. It couldn't do anything. Um, me and Michael played last week smooth. Smooth as anything, so great. Um, you would beat me on... Uh, I would beat you as a challenge, but uh, I have to play on console. Uh, you broke your PC. Oh, man, that's where your money's going, Kian. That's, where, that's, that's your replacement there. Um, when uh, when you get your Xbox back, uh, I need to play. I still have the Xbox. Wait, I just, uh, it's just Rugby Twenty Two is just dead on on the Xbox in uh, in any way. Um, probably kind of hard to sort of arrange that to go on. I do occasionally try and check on a an online game. The online steadiness for Xbox is worse than than PC, which is mad. Um, I tell you what, I, I assume no one is on. I'll just search for a game and assume that Dylan will eventually pop in. Um, but yeah, I haven't played on the Xbox for a little while, to be fair. I do enjoy a type of game like this. I'm kind of glad this game is locked to a controller because I, I kind of like it as a casual sporting game to sit there with a controller with. But I haven't played I haven't played on the Xbox for uh, for a good while. I have a disc as well. I have a disc for the Xbox to be able to play it on. Ridiculous. <laughs> Can't even just jump on and play. I have to go find the disc or wherever the hell I've put it and actually put it in. Online match is ready. Will this be Dylan? do 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 Sarah CA, is that you, Dylan, or not? Is that actually just some other person playing? I don't know. Dylan, apply to me. <laughs> is that you? Is it not you? I'll I'll flick through. This person's gonna get really annoyed at me if they. I can't believe there's actually someone else on it. Uh, my dragon uh, has a random player absolutely annihilated you. No, I've never. Oh, they, they they disconnected. Okay, uh, that wasn't them. I'll wait. I'll wait for Dylan. I'll wait for Dylan to. Uh... Oh, it was you. Oh, <laughs> it was you. Okay, hang on. I'll search for another one, Dylan. It's the issue when people don't have names that cross over between YouTube chat. I'll search for another one. Uh, I just can't do windowed mode. Sorry. Oh, okay, no worries. No worries. Okay, All right. Uh, so we'll. Do, uh, I'll I'll let Dylan pick a team then, um, and I'll and then I'll go. I don't know. What do we want to do? Oh, he wants to go island. He wants to go island. Who's uh, who's who's up for island? I don't know if my my stats carry over either, though. Like, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> World Cup. Um, like, my New Zealand team's rated less than Ireland is, but I don't know if that's. What? Well, it looks like I'm playing as Scotland. Not through my own decision. <laughs> Dylan's been able to pick Scotland on my behalf, apparently. I don't know how that's possible. Looks like I'm doing Scotland. <laughs> um, 
Uh, I've had I've had some interesting games I came with uh, with people online. Uh, when the game first came out, it was it was normally people that had just jumped straight onto the multiplayer after creating their team, um, and they 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 had you know just a stack of New Zealand players and you know they're, they're tricky to play against. Um, oh my god! No, oh, this is not as steady as when I play with uh, with Michael. Um, let's boost that out a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, I've never I've never got annihilated in a game. I think I've actually only lost one game online and that was uh, on stream i was actually on stream when i i lost that game um and um they uh, they basically just uh, i i there was something broke i remember there being something broken in the game i like i couldn't it was oh it was just it was just the delay that's what it was it was the rucks i couldn't win a ruck uh when the ruck when i when the the ruck was popping up on screen for me to begin pressing my buttons, the ruck was already over on their screen. Uh, so basically, I couldn't win a ruck the uh, the whole game, um, and um, it was Dylan isn't playing. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's going on then? Who am I playing? You said it was you, Dylan. <laughs> And then they also made me pick Scotland. Or did the game just make me pick Scotland? Hang on. Is, is Dylan in? <laughs> Am I just playing the AI online? Is that a thing? You had to abort the match. Oh, I'm playing Alex G. What? Oh, I, 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 shall I back out of Alex G? Who's Alex G? Is Alex G in the chat? Is this a known? Is this a known person? Problem is, he's about to score a try now. It's going to look like I'm rage quitting. <laughs> uh, how did what what happened in that whole series of things then? So Dylan was. I'm sure it was Dylan was in the game, and then it was highlighting Ireland. I was flicking through teams. It auto picked Scotland for me. I assume because Dylan aborted the match and then like what it, it just threw me in with another person who happened to be playing it's kind of wild it's an advantage I, I don't I don't know what's going on here glitchy mess yeah <laughs> who would have thought it the rugby 22 is a glitchy mess wow. um but I tell you, I, I don't want to Right, I don't know what to do here. I don't want to. I don't want to make it feel like I'm rage quitting because I'm down. Uh, I might. I can go. I, I'll go. I'll go till half time. I'll actually play someone until half time. If they're winning at half time. We'll consider it a win for them. Where are all my players? <laughs> Made the tackle. Didn't work. That was a really weird... I don't know what that was. It was just like... It just auto-selected Scotland for me. I wonder why that would be... Uh, why don't uh, you play a loser-rated team offline against Dylan playing a higher-rated team as a challenge? Uh, you mean online? Well, because I, I, I have no idea how good Dylan is. <laughs> if Dylan's a monster... At the uh, at the game, then uh, me playing as a lower rated team is not going to do a lot for the. <laughs> Let's just be. <laughs> it's just Dylan wins sixty nil because I can't do anything. You've also got to compete with the with the game itself, right? Like it's there's certain things. It's like you know when I do online, it's like this guy that I'm playing now. Alex has um, has had you know two tries, both of which have been through um, the grubber kick thing. Like I don't do grubber kicks online because the game is already so like jolty that doing the OP things feels like, just like, really dope. It's like, I also wouldn't go for a driving mall try because I would imagine it's, you know, impossible to actually, you know, stop in, uh, in, a, in a multiplayer game. Oh my God, how slow is the clock going? I was just going to go till halftime and, uh, and then back out of this one, but it's, this clock is, uh, is working its way down. Why are my players also not like in position? They are really far away. 
do 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 Defending well though to be fair. Oh, it's getting so glitchy. <laughs> We're up to the line. We're up to the line, boys. Pressure, pressure. Boom. Finn Russell goes over. Uh, sorry I meant uh, online. It would be a challenge uh, harder than normal. Well, it, it would be a challenge, but I also don't know how good Dylan... <laughs> like I said, if Dylan's a monster, then uh, it'll be uh, a bit of a nightmare. Right, we've got four minutes left. Four minutes left to draw this equal, and then I'll quit at halftime. And this person can feel like they've had a, a good game. I did concede two tries to grubber kicks though, which I I, I don't consider. <laughs> I don't consider me losing them because it's impossible on uh, on this game to not basically concede a try if someone does the grubber kick. Oh yeah, the old switch up. He wasn't ready for the switch. Oh well, and then my players just don't pass to clearly who I would want them to go to. Oh, and then we just, uh, shut down. I have to shut down again. Ugh, I hate this game. <laughs> Why can't it not just be smooth? It's like you you basically like tell it to pass wide and it passes to the, the just just nobody. Look at that pass! What is this? And now Chris Harris has stood in front of the this is actually getting worse as the game is going on here. <laughs> Oh, please be good, Rugby24. Please just be better. Be better than this. It can't be difficult to be better than this. Now, you ain't chasing Darcy Grave down from there. A skadoosh! Did you also see that it started passing? <laughs> I pressed A to put the ball down, <laughs> and it started passing. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, well, we came back into it. I feel kind of good about that. Boom. Right, Dylan. Are we there? Are we there? I want to try again. Oh, I can't. Um... Oh, this person's... <laughs> Throwing the thing. I'll get on now. Right, hang on. Let me, uh, let me quit up. Oh. There we go. That guy can take a draw from Mad Dragon. There you are. Good job. Um, I can't believe there's people online. That's absolutely wild. Uh, what What is your name, Dylan? What is your name? So I can back out of a game before we start if I know it's not you. What is your name in this? Is it just Dylan or is it the... What did we say before? Sarah or something? Is Rugby24 cross-platform? Uh, I would be surprised. Right, okay, there we go. Right, Dylan, I'm gonna search now. If I find you, I'll stay with it. If it's not you, I'll back out. Um, yeah, I don't believe it's gonna be... Cr I, I, I don't really see why it couldn't be cross-platform, Kian. You know, everyone's gonna use a controller. Mouse and keyboard has no advantage. Everyone's gonna be on the same thing. Uh, it will just be the, the stability of the online, right? Because if you have really awesome internet you're playing on PC and the internet's not very stable, there we go. Right, we're in with Dylan. Uh, I'll let Dylan. I'll let Dylan pick a pick a team, and then um, I'll also pick a team. Maybe it's because I didn't move for long enough, and that's why it like. He wants to do England. Should we do England? Who are England playing? Oh, France. Uh, that's probably a bit over the top. But where is? Whoa, I suck at finding the thing today. Who's like, kind of in the in the ballpark? Scotland. England, Scotland. That'd be fun. Calcutta Cup. Here we go. Uh, but yeah, if it could be cross-platform, that'd be great. I mean, just the ability to find online games, right? It would be... I feel like it would be far more broad and far more enjoyable to get more people uh, more people into it. Right, let's see what uh, what Dylan's got up his sleeve then. Let's uh, go for a cheeky little high up and under this time. Going to draw it back in. Let's see if we have a slightly more stable game. Oh, we've already got a ball. It's just gone completely awry. And a drop ball. <laughs> We're off to a great start, Dylan, here. Let's see if it's more stable than the last game where it didn't... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I can't believe the game I had with uh, with, with Michael last week. That was... It was just... It was like playing... Like co-op with someone in, in my own house. 
It was just, it was, it was really, really useful. Oh, I mean, there's just no one on this wing. Oh, I tried to, tried to send it in. <laughs> Let's test him. Oh, I didn't get there. <laughs> I thought if I go for the crossfield kick early on, he won't expect it. That was, that was my tactic there. Oh, it's a nice little, uh, nice little play over the back. They're going for that 50-22. Will it come off? Not quite. Let's load up and then send Darcy Graham on his way. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> Those players were just not on their feet, and then they absolutely were ready for that one. Send Skinner. Oh, that's a good, that's a good play there. Shutting him down. Let's let my team reload for a second here. They're all back. Scotland are really weird. They, they did it in the last game. I was, I just realised I was also Scotland in the last game, right? But... The way they sort of bunch up is bizarre. Oh, Duan van der Merwe on the breakaway. Slowly moving our way up here. Just seen Darcy Graham in acres of space out on that wing. Let's go back up the blind side. Was he expecting it? Oh, Duan van der Merwe, a little more meters. Oh, I've got the ball. <laughs> I was, I was, I did not pick that ball up. Going through, I don't know who that is. Is that Kyle Stain? No. Kyle Stain. Kyle Sinclair. That's what I meant there, of course. Oh, let's just go for the run around now. It's also really hard. I've got to turn my brain off now from not doing the grubber kicks because I, I hate grubber kicks in the online games. <laughs> but I've got to actually, like, not do it because I've been doing it against the AI all day. Ship it out wide here. Do hand van and move. Step back on the inside. Oh, still going. We're creeping forward. Oh, good turnover. Now he's got to try and exit from here. That's a nice little interlinking play. Scotland decided to miss six tackles in a row. And knock on. What? What knock on? I got the ball. <laughs> it, teleport it teleported from Sam Johnson to Scooban. Oh, yeah, that will be a knock on. Telekinesis is a penalty. Not allowed. <laughs> Mutants can't play in the game. How dare you. I also really hope they fix uh, fix the scrummaging thing as well, because it is it is way too easy to to be able to um, just you know take take a scrum effortlessly in uh, in the multiplayer here. Oh, this was a big call. He went for the kick. George Turner on the break. Schumann. <laughs> Where are my PC players? There's Chris Harris. <laughs> I'm going through all the big boys. That's not what I want. I want to go through the backs. I was talking with someone in the uh, in the comments one of videos about Chris Harris, about the fact he just hasn't got a look in this team. I think Chris Harris has played 12 before. I, can't, I think he might even be the... No, he's not the 12 in this game, right? I would kind of like to have seen Chris Harris play this week. Chris Harris at 12, but um, Hugh Jones in at 13, one attacking, one defensive centre. Where's the... Right, what's going on here, boys? <laughs> he just kept running backwards. Play dangerous. Decent clearance kick. Oh, not going to get the bounce. Let's see how he's going to pressure it up. Oh, was Darcy Graham. You want to get back on your feet? Oh, is that going to be a 50-22? <laughs> what happened to Darcy Graham? He just didn't get... Oh, well, I'm in desperate trouble here. There wasn't even a quick time event for it. Oh uh, no. Yeah, it's 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 broken. Multiplayer is rubbish for this. You can't you can't be stopped. Dylan goes for the driving ball try. What happened to the line out quick time event? <laughs> I got it correct. It just said no. Again. Something else they I, I hope they sort out for Ruby 24. The um you know, driving balls in multiplayer is it is an unstoppable you know, force of nature. I really hope they do something with that as well. We will take the uh, take the kick off. That's pretty. Look at my team. Why does it look like I have like, you know, three players? <laughs> Where is everyone? Where's my attacking line here? I right, saw a bit different scope. The blind side. Oh, tried to sneak it past him. <laughs> 
Oh, was there? That's a wider pass. Is anyone with a toe jay there? I wish my players would stop not tackling the, the, the players. It is getting very annoying to just do the action of a tackle, <laughs> but it doesn't land at all in real life. Oh, he's kicked away the ball. On the uh, on the final play here, was this the right move? Finn Russell. Oh, I did a grubber kick. Hang on. No, no, no. I'm running out. No, I'm not scoring a try because of a grubber. It's muscle memory. I'm not scoring a try on a grubber kick. I'm not doing it. I won't I won't be that person. <laughs> muscle memory kicks in. It's so hard to not do it. Oh, Chris Harris did well there to collect that one, to be fair. He was in trouble. Again, look at my, look at my line. Oh, no. Pass. Pass out wide. Thank you. Oh, dip, 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 dip. Damn it. <laughs> the wind. We are playing in huge wind. Blah, 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 blah. Again, I got it right. Game. <laughs> Give me something. Oh, man. It's been a brutal game. Someone else. Let's go for an up and under. Something different this time. Oh, what a collection by Darcy Graham to take it over. <laughs> the quick time events have gone. It's just get the player running onto the ball. <laughs> I allow chip kicks because I feel like you can at least compete. You can at least get a player there to get the ball. The grubber kicks are dumb. Grubber kicks are rubbish. I feel like grubber kicks are cheating. But an up and under, you know, you have, you have the chance to be able to get that. Oh, he's gone for a, a deep... Oh, Xander Ferguson. <laughs> Playing dangerously. Let's go for a 50-22. Let's try and do what Dylan did to me. Let's give it back to him. <laughs> I know where the wind is going in this game. Will I do a driving wall, Dylan? <laughs> no. No, I won't do. Because I'm not that mean. Oh, my God. What's all my players doing here? They're just bunched up in a ball. Why are they just in a ball? Look, and now nobody's out here defending it. What's going on? Like, I was the attacking team and my players weren't in position. It's that. <laughs> Sam's gonna just picked up his own pass. Greg Gilchrist, picking it up when I don't want it to. Oh, the game's getting weird now. Slow it down. Let's let the game sort itself out because I don't know what it's doing. You know, quickly hit. Oh, no, nearly snuck it through. Sam Johnson. Charge at the line here. Oh, good turnover. I, like, I've just lost four people to tackling nobody. What are we doing? <laughs> the most offloads you've ever seen in a game of rugby. <laughs> Chase him down! <laughs> the bro Look at my defensive line. Come on, boys. The Offload game is getting wild. And now the counter attack. Do I have a Berber? Put it back downfield. <laughs> this is getting a little bit outrageous with the. <laughs> <laughs> How many offloads? <laughs> this is ludicrous. <laughs> I'm, hang on, how's he got the ball? I got that. Hold on, game. Hold on. I had that ball. <laughs> That's outrageous. I won the turnover. <laughs> <laughs> and then it went, nah, give it him back. <laughs> Damn it. Getting screwed over by this nonsense. Kian said, what, 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 WTF was like, I know. I won, I won the turnover. 
I was going to calm it down. Jack Norris, Jack, Jack Norris charging at me. Jack Norris had enough of it. <laughs> oh, man. Who doesn't love this game? All right, Dylan's gone from being in a really precarious spot here to actually has a good opportunity to maybe take a win. Oh, he's got to go for the box. Ooh, ooh, box kick. Interesting call there. Oh, and they also gave it to him as well, going, uh, going straight out. A little bit different. A little bit testing. What happened? <laughs> Are you still with me, Dylan? <laughs> Where's my fullback? Who knows? Oh, Xander Ferguson. Nearly. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the penalty. It was coming. Do we take the three? Do we be just mean about it? No, we won't do that. Uh, what can we do? Scrum. <laughs> we won't be boring. We'll play fun. <laughs> Taking a really sucky three just to win this ridiculous game. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Ali Price. To nobody. To Sam Johnson. To Darcy Graham. For the corner. <laughs> Playing expansively. There is still time on the clock for Dylan. It's a tricky kick to be fair. I didn't really make that very easy on myself. Probably shouldn't have messed around so much. <laughs> Can Finn Russell still do it? Will it ricochet off a post and go 30 miles again? No, we got it through. 31-14. All or nothing. Big kickoff to start us out. Allowed to bounce. Oh, got the ball, though. There's the opportunity to pull it back here for the draw. Oh, no, the upload bounce, the offload game. Game back to bite him. Oh man, that was close though. He had he had a he had a good stint at that to get back towards the end. And guess what? We get zero SP points for playing a uh, a really fun game. That was enjoyable, <laughs> minus some nonsense of me losing that turnover. Outrageous. Oh man, GGs, GGs, Dylan. I don't know if you, I don't know if you had the live stream on at the same time, Dylan. I don't know if you could hear me complaining about stuff, but uh, yeah, no, it was definitely a turnover in there. <laughs> that was good on there. Um, I think that'll be uh, maybe uh, with membership you can have a fantasy advice lot. I need help uh, and get help there. People like Big Brain uh, is great at it. Yeah, Big Big Brain is bizarrely good uh, at the fantasy. Um, it, it, it really astonishes me. I've actually I kept I kept an eye on Big Brain over the course of the World Cup and the, the Six Nations. I was borderline believing at some point it's just beginning to cheat because he's so good every single week, and um, and he's not. I had a look at it. I, I, I investigated it myself. I was like, he's just picking the best players. I had it in the fantasy last round. Um, that the um, like like picking the teams. Me and him picked almost identical teams, right? Um, so he also didn't do brilliantly last round, same as me, because he, he had the same thought process as me. We're actually kind of similar in the way we think, but he just picks different players. So we had a lot, we had about seven or eight of these identical players. We both wanted a Scottish back row. I picked Jack Dempsey, thinking hard carry, number eight, going to be a big guy. He went for Andy Christie, and I was like, Andy Christie in the flanker, I know he's a good player, but I, I don't know if I see him doing as much in this game. And Andy Christie had a great game, best back row of you know all the Scottish players. I was like, how does he make those picks? How does he get it bang on? He had three options, pick the best one. He, he overlooked Dempsey and Darge for Andy Christie. And Andy Christie blew them out of the water. Like, he just always gets the right pick. It is it is kind of bizarre. Um, I, I'm constantly nearly in, in last place, but uh, decent now the predictor. Yeah, the, the fantasy teams and everything. Again, if I started the membership thing, it would just be like a, a separate area where you could I could do like, oh, here's my fancy team. Here's the Super Brew fancy team. I could do like I do for the main. Uh, hang on, let me uh, switch out of this for a second because uh, uh, I am going to end the uh, the stream soon here. Let me. Um, 
Let me close that one down for a second. Um, but yeah, if, if, if it had that home separate error, I would probably do mini videos like I do the Friday videos of the Six Nations fantasy one, the official one. I would probably do short ones like that and put them on um, on as members. Um, like, here's my Super Brew fantasy team and make it a, a little bit different like that and try and, and help people out. We could do um, Super Brew fantasy live streams. You know, that could be fun. Doing that. that didn't work how I wanted it to. Um, we could do, you know, and, and have all, all the members jump in and do like a like a like a like a live stream for members only, and we just go through fantasy picks and stuff. We could we could do that just for the for the super group. Um uh maybe you and Dylan can have a a rematch on online. So yeah, mate, we'll absolutely well when uh, I mean we, we I'm up for doing you know more of these streams until we get Ruby 24, but once Ruby 24 comes, I'm up for for trying lots of that. I just hope the game is more it's just smooth. Just seeing that nonsense. I thought Dylan, Dylan is the master of the offload game, though, right? Dylan was crashing the offloads. It was so hard to shut down. I do hope they nerf offloads a little bit because they just you just get tackled and you just offload and it's it's so flawless. I would like the offload. I think I would like the offload in in the game to be m much more precise. Like I would like you know the little slider bar that comes out as you pass the ball. I would really like your offload to be you will offload the ball exactly how far you pass, rather than just tapping left, right, left, right, left, right, and just offload constantly. And that way you'd have to make the decision to pass. And then obviously the further out you get, the more likely it is to go forward and try and um and and try and and try and do something like that. Um but yeah. Uh, can you read the two comments? Oh, I just have to. There you are. I'm running back through them. Uh, oh, yeah. Dylan, Dylan did have the, uh, the chat. And yeah, I, I don't know what happened, Dylan. You can, uh, if you can go back and have a look at the, uh, the, the, the live stream VOD after, after this, if you want to try and find that game, and you can watch it back from my perspective. But there was definitely the second try you got. I absolutely managed to stop the, the onslaught of the offload games. We got all the way up to the up to my 22. I got a turnover, finally got a turnover with Scotland. And I went, ooh, and I just sat, I, I literally took a, a sat back. I was like, right, calm myself down. And I'm going to try and do a nice exit clearance. And in the process of me calming down, the ball just teleported to your sides and you, you ran in and scored that second try. I absolutely had that on my screen. <laughs> um... Uh, oh, there you go. And then Keynes just said the same thing in the chat. Yeah, somehow got the turnover. I mean, <laughs> man, I rage. I rage so much in these games. Just when nonsense happens like that, it just annoys the hell out of me. But uh, yeah, we managed to come back and win. That's not that's not too bad as an online game. It was it was smoother than games I've had in the past. Um, but yeah, still still a couple of issues to to work out for them. And I also got a draw. You know, if you want to call it that, against that Alex person who who randomly jumped in. Although they did get two grubber kick tries against me. Do I allow grubber kick tries in my own score? To me, they scored zero. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's impossible to stop grubber kick tries in uh, on uh, on multiplayer on Road 22. Anyway, guys, it is 10 past seven. It is late. And uh, actually, now the more that I think about it, I've still got to sort out my Super Brew Fantasy team. I'll be doing that this evening. I've still got to film a video <laughs> of doing my, uh, my actual... Um, Fantasy stuff uh, for the the official Guinness one. I've got to put that one out on the channel. Uh, it probably be a bit too late, but I guess I'll put that out Saturday morning. Uh, but I've actually still got to film the thing and, and get it out and uh, and get it out live and what have you. So uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, call it a night there. Uh, Big brains, Cheeing has come in with a uh, two pound donation. Thank you so much, Cheeing, for uh, your wonderful donation. You've uh, always been a big supporter of the channel. I'm awfully sorry that this is not coming up as as alerts. I don't know why it's not coming up as alerts. It's very irritating. Um, I absolutely sorted it out so that it would. It doesn't come up on my activity feed either. Um, I'm going to have to try and find a way to fix that because that is an issue. Um, I just don't know what's what's wrong. Was that through a super chat, Kieran? You just did that. Uh, I, I can't, like, play it. I can't. Get it, but thank you anyway, Keen. Thank you so much for, uh, for for sending that through, mate. Um, I I I can't get this to work. I don't know what this is. Super chat, Keen. Um, I've also got the slowest bar in the world down here. A super sticker. Maybe super stickers don't pop up. I'll have to look into that. I'll have to look into um what what happens with the super sticker then to uh, to work out what's going on. Oh, oh, I've pressed buttons here. 
Shouldn't have, uh, should have done the activity feed. Let me go back to that so I can, I can have a backup. Uh, but thank you for everyone that has, uh, has tuned in today. Um, uh, it's been uh, been a lot of fun jumping in with the uh, the fantasy stuff. A lot of different people's opinions on stuff and uh, playing a game. Be nice to play uh, some people online like Dylan. Uh, hopefully, Ruby24 comes out, we will be able to do uh, some more online games that will actually be fun <laughs> in terms of consistent, no glitchy games. It'll be uh, a, a good laugh to go through. Uh, but thank you so much to everyone who has come out today. I hope you've all enjoyed Super Saturday tomorrow. Hope everyone's looking forward to uh, some awesome rugby. Of course, we'll be doing Monday's video, world rankings, fantasy team results, all that stuff, naming our champions. It won't be me. I won't be me in any of them. I'm uh, absolutely nowhere near. But uh, hopefully you've all enjoyed this one today, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror, if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break.